And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. After our edition, we're joined six lovely ladies. Got a great show planned for y'all. Let's go. Let's go. All the night is my world. City light. Paint this girl. I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not possible to see. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my thing. All right, and we are back, guys. What's up? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. After hours edition, we're joining six lovely ladies. Anyway, uh, quick announcement, guys. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. Go ahead and get all the behind-the-scenes content there, guys. The first of the month, a.k.a. Go ahead and get in there right now so y'all don't get double-charged. Um, on there, we have Zoom calls. We have uh, behind-the-scenes content of crazy shit that happened. Yeah, right? from last year, this year. Yep. Man. Yeah, guys, we have, like, uh, almost 400 videos on there, man. No one on in the sphere has as many videos on Patreon as we do. We got videos on there on, like, everything from, like, how to get real estate property, how to get girls, how to get in shape, how to not be a fat piece of how shit, your, how to be attractive, credit score as well. how to increase your credit score. Yeah, we have all different types of things when it comes to male self-improvement. The only thing we don't have on there is how to not wear a crinkly shirt from the dryer. So uh, <laughs> I, need to, I need to change that. But <laughs> other than that, guys, check us out on Patreon.com slash FreshFit. Also, get the merch, freshfitpodcaststore.com. We got all the t-shirts there, guys, whether it's who, who hurt you or stay over there or I feel like the legendary quote. Go ahead and check us out at freshfitpodcaststore.com. All the merch is there, guys, t-shirts, hoodies, etc. Also, what? check out Fresh and Fit Clips, guys. On that channel, we post the best parts of the show, somewhere between six to ten minutes or so, and we post two clips on there per day. So if you guys want to see some funny shit, go check out the Fresh and Fit Clips channel if you don't got time to watch a full podcast. And then if your attention span is even shorter than that, Check us out on Fresh and Fit Shorts, where we have videos that are 60 seconds or below. It's kind of our bootleg TikTok mm-hmm. since we got banned off TikTok so Facts. many times. And then also, guys, DMs on Demand is live. Get on there. Get DMsondemand.com. If you guys want to learn how to get uh, get on the scene so you don't get left on scene, go ahead and check us out on there. We teach you guys how to leverage Instagram to you know broker business deals, be more attractive, take stories, network, use it for running ads to get girls, networking, all this other shit. All it's all on there, guys. I don't think there's anyone else that has a better product when it comes to mastering Instagram in the sphere than we do because we teach y'all how to leverage it to get girls and also how to leverage it from business perspectives as, uh, as well. Hell, if y'all don't believe me, look at all the big guests that we've had on this fucking show. Thanks to Instagram. We've had celebrities, rappers, entertainers, big YouTubers. Yep. They've all come on our show. Hell, we had Steve will do it on last night, man. We had Tafi in here. We've had Michael Blackson. We've had Six Night come to the studio plenty of times. You know, these are all Stupid. through really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, we've had, uh, damn, I'm uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki Grant, Grant Cardone. Grant, Grant Cardone. Yeah. Um, for everything from rappers all the way to billionaires, guys that have come on this podcast, and the big way we've been able to do it, guys, is leveraging Instagram to arrange in-person meetups, whatever it may be, adding some value, Gotta and then value. go ahead and bring them on the show. Hell, we had Brandon earlier from uh, Investment Inve- Joy. Investment we Joy. talked about fucking getting you know vending yeah. machines and making money off that. Chick Fil A's, Subways, storage units. Wow, all that shit, man. Y'all would not be hell. He, we talked to him on Instagram. Yo, so you can start a vending ma- a machine business with 800 bucks. That's yeah, crazy, man. That's wild, bro. So, yeah. guys, a lot of the reason you're able to get the value that you guys get on this podcast is because we leverage Instagram to go ahead and, you know, make connections and bring guys on the show that might be have an expertise that we don't like. I mean, we're talking about laundry. Like, as you guys know, me and Fresh are real estate investors, but I don't know shit about laundromats or me car either. washes or any of that other stuff. I learned a bunch just now. Shout out to Brandon. He's in the on the machine right now. So, guys, hey, this is how. Hey, hey shout out to you, man. Hey, 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 Donnie, hey, hey. and we got Eric as well. Yeah, man. So, check out the shout out to him and his team. And we awesome interview with him, guys. Go check it out after this show. You know, obviously, we give you all the entertainment at night, but we help you guys make money as well. In the so, day. check that out, man. Definitely a good show. But that's how we do it, man, through Instagram, bro. Because I'll tell y'all right now, Instagram is like a networking tool. It's not really like a good, how do I say this, for like reach. It's yeah. like YouTube. But for marketing. You know, for marketing and like meeting people and everything else like that, there's no better app, man. But low key, though. Real talk when it comes to like dating, Instagram is where is that? Yeah, it's low a, key. It's not more dating app for sure. Yo, fresh notes, man. Yeah. The, so okay. get on, get on the scene, goddamn it, or get left on the scene. scene. Get DMs on demand. Facts. Right now. Get DMs on demand.com. Okay. 
Uh, you want to talk about your vlog channel, real guys? Quick? For behind the scenes, check out the vlog channel. Uh, we do lifestyle videos, we do live streams, we also do um, you know, outside the studio. So it's fun times, man. We did a, a vlog yesterday with this guy I met on the street. We we're in Winwood, and he said, "Hey, man, my, my last day in Miami. I'm from Peru. I see this Lamborghini. I hope one day I can sit in one." I was like, "Well, guess what? You know the owner now." So we went for a driver on on the block. It was yeah. happy as hell. First man. nice guy. Hey, shit. Yeah, he yeah it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so check out the vlog channel, Hunter Kindaway. Of Let's go. And check out my other YouTube channel, guys, Fed1811. I break down criminal cases on there for y'all. So if you guys want to see how the feds do cases, you guys know I used to work, you know, doing federal investigations myself. So, yeah, man, I break down, uh, you know, famous criminal cases, whether it's, you know, YNW Melly, Push Icedy, Rallo, fucking Casanova. I'm going to do the 6 9 case. I'm starting to gather I want some Tory documents one. for that Stupid. one. <laughs> yes. Uh, Christina's been helping me yeah. with getting the documents for the Tory, Tory Lanez case. I think we have everything. Christina, do we have everything? It's gonna be a two-parter. Okay. Shout out to Shardy in the back, by the yeah, way. Yeah, shout out to Shardy and, well. and Christina in the back as well. But yeah, it's gonna be a two-parter, guys. But we do have pretty much a bunch of stuff that no one else has. Okay, we have police reports, pictures, all that shit on the Tory Lanez case. So I will definitely do the breakdown for that. For that, you guys have been asking me that for fucking months. It took forever to get the stuff because LA is very difficult to get documents, guys. But we got it. We're gonna do it for y'all probably either this weekend or the weekend after. But we're gonna definitely have to do it again because he has trial in September. But, uh, but yeah, go check it out, man. Fed1811. And then, Chris, what do you got? Yes. Ladies, send me a DM on Aaron C. Fox on IG. Make sure your page is not private because no photos, no show them because you guys, you know, you girls be tripping. And if you flake, uh, you ban a Shadow Realm. So shout out to Destiny. <clears throat> you know, he has a few girls that was kind of, you know, iffy. But um, I appreciate the girls come onto the platform. And if you're flying in from some other state to Miami, make sure you let me know and let's make it happen. Cool. cool. All right. So let's introduce the panel. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, uh, your body count. Your body count. <laughs> I want to start <laughs> right here. Sheesh. Welcome back. Sheesh. Hi, I'm Destiny. I just turned 28 uh, last week. Was it? Two weeks ago? I don't know. The 22nd. Um, what do I do? I mainly stream on Twitch. I do bottle service, modeling, and I dance a couple nights a week. Um, what was the other thing? I am... Dating status? Unavailable. <laughs> uh, I'm unavailable. Um, wait, and... wait, unavailable? Unavailable? Yeah, I'm unavailable. Shout out to you. Okay. 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 <laughs> Just unavailable. What what do you, what do you want from me? <laughs> 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 Whatever. Anyways, next question. Okay, and then uh, body count. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Next. Um, <laughs> I think education, right? Education is next. Oh, yeah. I'm a certified cosmetologist or licensed cosmetologist, certified personal trainer. Um, and I'm continuing my education now. So, shout out to you. Hi, I'm Cece. I just turned dirty 30. Wait, what? What? 30? 30? 30, 30. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, it's trouble. Not really. Pisces gang. Um, I am the girl that you always see my titties online. If you know, you know, one of the original <laughs> World Star honeys, as you can see. Wait, so uh, you have a tat of uh, World, World Star? Star That's yeah. crazy. You can see it. Yeah. Shout out to World Star. It's on her titties. What you mean? True. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So, so uh, you're the original uh, World Star honey? One of the originals, yeah. Since wow. 2010. She yeah, yeah she, shit's pretty old, so yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. That pussy young guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stop then, the cap. And then um dating status. I am looking for a girlfriend, you know, but as far as a man, I'm unavailable for that. But I like what I like. Okay. okay. So you're only exclusively seeing women right now, no guys. Both. If she wants to. If I want to. If she, if she if she right. Yeah. But Wait, I'm confused. Because you said unavailable for unavailable men. for other men. Oh, so you have, oh, a, so man. you have a guy. Yeah. Okay. 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 But All right. I women. Yeah. What's up? Oh, so y'all are like in an open relationship. <laughs> no, oh. but he knows I I like pussy. Okay, so That's open with with girls only. Yeah. Okay. Do you bring him back to him or no? So funny story. So um, <laughs> we I actually joined his marriage with him and his wife. Oh. Okay. Prior. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, right. so you're you're the you're you're the I was the unicorn. Okay, so you're the second girlfriend. You're the like the you're like the side chick kind of mistress. It we, it wasn't anything secret. We were very all open, honest in the group chats. Everything I ate her pussy, she ate mine. 
for the first time. She, I don't think she's ever shit. been with a woman. Okay. Um, but we had threesomes, and you know, Lovely. one thing led to another, and they got divorced. And oh, so now were. you have him. Yeah. Full time. Okay. Full time. Full time. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. Okay. And then you said you show your titties on World Star. Like I'm confused everywhere. by this. World Star, OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Like it's kind of like Girls Gone Wild, but everywhere. Yeah. CC Gone Wild. <laughs> Can, we okay. Gone Wild. Can we see it now? What the? No, 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 Yeah, no, no, no. And, and I already know the chat's going to ask, uh, what what size are those things? I honestly don't know. I the last bra size I had, yeah, it was a G. Yes. The a last G? bra size I got was Top G. G. Yeah. What's, I didn't even know that was available. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is. I thought it was an H. <laughs> <laughs> okay. G, H, I, oh, G. Interesting. Okay, cool. Cool. I mean, are, are, are natural or? Very natural. Okay. Very, and then yeah. last but not least, education level. Uh, I don't like school, but I, I have a diploma. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. High school diploma. Yeah. Okay. All right. What was the first question? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Becky Crocker. Okay. Yeah, that's funny because. Not she, Betty, but Becky. Yeah, she was sitting on the on a corner, right? I just remember, you look familiar. And I said, I think I said Betty by mistake. And I said Crocker at the end. I'll shout out to you, though. <laughs> okay, so your, so your name really is Becky? Or is that Absolutely just funny? Absolutely not. No, Alyssa. Oh, okay, okay. It's kind of stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, but let me guess, because you're Caucasian. They're like, oh, yeah, Becky. Okay, so you just ran with it. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, okay, so how old are you? I'm 26. Cool. Where are you from originally? Um, I'm from Utah originally, but I grew up mostly in Texas. Mormon? Yep. Okay. All right. Mormon <laughs> girls always go crazy. Yep. Uh, what do you do for work? Only fans. Okay. All right. And uh, she loves what? Come. Come. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. There you go. It's fair to say that uh, you get a lot of come on, on your Only fans, probably. Absolutely. Cool. Right, let, let's just yeah. say she loves protein. Mm. Protein. <laughs> what? Uh, are, are you in a relationship? Are you single or what? I am in a relationship. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. you film with your guy? I'm just guessing. Yeah. With and, your boyfriend. Um, a lot of girls. Too. A lot of girls. Okay. Does he allow you to film with other guys? Um, no. Yeah, figured. No. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Smart. Uh, is he Mormon himself or not? No, I'm not Mormon anymore. Oh, not? <laughs> no, my mom left the church when I was about ten, so okay. I grew up in it, but not now. Okay. And the highest education level completed. High school. High school. Okay. Yes. And, and then where are you from originally, too? Virginia. 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 Then, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm from people. Minnesota. Okay. Cool. Uh, what about you? Welcome back, Vicky. Yeah. Hi. Hi, guys. Yes, my name is Victoria. And I do some OnlyFans, you know, some investing, too, and some real estate. Okay. You mean a lot of OnlyFans, but okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, She's yeah. the one that argued with academics last time, if you yeah. guys remember, right? Yeah, a little, yeah. little toxic argument, but yeah. I am 22. Um, I'm from Philly, like outside of Philly. Every time I say Philly, born and raised like, in a playground where I yeah. spend most of my day. People are like, girl, you're not from Philly, <laughs> so I just say Philly. But the King of Prussia, but y'all don't even know what that is, so I'm gonna just say Philly. What was the name of the town? <laughs> Philadelphia, uh, King of Prussia. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I, um, I shout out to my PA people. Mm -hmm. And um, what was the other question? Uh, dating status. Yeah, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> a body count. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> Six hundred, seven hundred. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yo, no, I, we've I had six hundred. So if you, if yeah, you can, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised, honestly, anymore. Like the world's kind of crazy out here. So. Nah. Yeah, I mean, Chad wants to know. Chad I mean, wants to know. Yo, whatever works, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm not judging. judging. Facts. We don't, we don't judge. Yeah. So no. Okay. All right. Let's skip that one for All right, now. Cool. All right. <laughs> and then um, education level. Um, some college. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Wait, did you drop out and you're like, fuck this shit? Yeah, I started making so much money on OnlyFans. I was like, fuck this shit. I mean, she got the chain. She got the watch. I mean, okay. that shit icy, man. She crispy. That OnlyFans <laughs> money hit different. There but you don't go. find out why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, my name is Sophie. The official Sophie. I do OnlyFans, too. And I'm opening a business this summer. Um, what kind of business? Um, I actually bought a franchise. Smart. Was yeah. it Subway? Yeah. No. Oh, nope. Okay. It's a candy store. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we want to like in a family yeah. town, like where Six Flags is. So you know. Okay. Um. And what's the other question? Uh, uh dating status. Yeah. Uh, complicated. Age. Uh, twenty six. That's where I hear that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Down here, Chris. Okay. Uh, there. so so single, opening a candy store. What do you What do you do like for work right now, though? Uh, OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Okay, so you're taking that money and you're throwing it. You're going to invest it into a candy store. Yep. All right, smart, cool, interesting. And then uh, education level? Uh, some college. Cool. All right. Last but not least. Oh, I 
hello. My name is Sarah Long. I go by Nice Long, and I am the owner of Guillotine Queen LLC, and I run Bodega Cat Clothing, which is me right here, because I pop up in random shops and sell my art, so I named myself a Bodega Cat. You spoke louder when you were defending her than when you were even describing yourself. <laughs> no, let, me, help? let me get closer then. Let me start speaking up real loud. Guillotine Queen LLC, aka the Bodega Cat, because I pop up and sell my art everywhere. Okay. I paint on canvas. I do cosplay. I'm going to be an Afropunk cosplaying as Sailor Moon. Okay. Are you cosplaying uh, as Takashi right now? Takashi? I wish. Stupid. That was, that was that cute. Yeah, that how how too, many of right? the colors are in your hair right now? Um, my natural color is actually a ginger red, but this is all fun and good. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you uh, half half Irish or? Nah, just half magic. <laughs> I don't got the Irish. Okay, so half, half, Irish. half. What, what's your AKA, ethnic background? I'm Jamaican, 100 percent born in Jamaica. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. born in Spanish town, and I grew up in Kentucky, so I don't talk like a natural yachty. Okay. Okay. So All right. But you have red. Hair. Your, your natural hair is red. Oh, I wish. Was, I'm working this a lot. I'm just talking shit. Oh, okay, so <laughs> the natural color is black then. Hair. Dark brown. Like Dark brown. brown. Okay. All right. How old are you? I'm 26. I graduated. Sorry, head up. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I look like I'm 16. People so ID when I buy Grabo. So that's 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. 18. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. But <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just fine by having good skin. But my, my title right now, I'm a salon manager. Okay. And so I've just poured all my, my money into my art. Okay. And then so you're a salon manager by day, have your guillotine. Guillotine Queen LLC. Guillotine Queen LLC, where you do art for people. And Custom. Then, dating status? Dating status, I am 100% by myself, and I'm addicted to my business. I'm in a relationship with my business right now. Okay. Translation? She belongs to the streets. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and a and, uh, funny story. Um, I know her sister um, because, you know, her sister is actually um, married to a guy I know from middle school. So shout out to her. I met her like years ago at a, at a party um, when we was watching the uh, Super Bowl. So shout out to you for coming through the, the podcast yeah. and uh, okay. yeah. showing some love. The art world. The th- art world. I thought he was going to say I was her teacher. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was yeah. only one girl fresh. That would have been jokes for her. I was only one girl fresh. I would have died. This dude used to be a teacher and he literally brought in one of his students that he used to teach and she's a dancer now. And I was like, what, 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 what happened? Chris, did you run? You teach her, bro. Bro, she, what? what? <laughs> to, get a, to get a bag? Yeah, what you taught her, yeah, what you taught her how to get on the pole or what? No, bro. Hey, hey, listen. Once I graduate, I have nothing to do on me. Yeah. <laughs> it just goes to show you a terrible teacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, drink season wrestling. Uh, 10 bucks. What? Oh, okay. It goes, uh, I'm 19 from West Palm Beach, making 50K a year, about to start buying vending machines this summer and acquiring my first property. Should I scale back to try and to network? Um, they can, they can do, do it all. You're 19. Do, do it all. Yeah, bro. You got a bunch of time. You got time, bro. Uh, go back and watch that episode we did with uh, with Brandon, man. Also, yeah. check, hit him up, man, if you need some coaching. He's going to start doing consultations. Yeah, one on ones. Fresh to BBC, 20 bucks. All right, listen. Shorty next to us, you got something I need, so can't see your plan because I'm tearing down your walls tonight. But I'm sure you can't handle me by yourself, so all means bring a friend. She just can't be fat, though. Uh, sorry, fam. <laughs> She's uh, taking. <laughs> Stick bro. Yo, that's not fresh as dick, by the way. Obviously, oh. you don't watch the show. He's gonna he's gonna shoot his shot at a couple girls on the panel, so don't worry. Well, this is uh, uh before the panel. <laughs> my, my read, my oh, this is before the panel. Yeah, before the panel. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, my arena gains. Dad, I see that you've manifested your destiny. <laughs> Uh, that's an inside joke. <laughs> All right, drip season wrestling, two dollars. Thank you. Uh, Citrus the King, two dollars. Thumbnail. Oh, These three or fours couldn't fit on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, clap backs, ladies? Yeah, you guys have got anything you want to say back? We paid, boo. Okay, okay they like a BBW these days, baby. Okay, okay. Hey, little please. Hey. Like okay. I said earlier, BBW's got that warm down there, man. They, they fire, man. Keep it toasty. Yo, I'm I like my cold in bed. Do you, do you guys consider yourselves BBWs? Technically, we're not. Cause like BBW is like size fourteen and up or something. I'm uh-huh. eight. Okay, <laughs> girl, you're not an eight. <laughs> oh my God. Girl, I'm a large. Okay. Girl. So I, I mean, it's up, it's up to y'all if you guys want to stand up and show the people, oh, but it's up to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Wanna, yeah. You guys yeah. Are what are it's up to y'all. That's no, just yeah, just stand, like, just stand up and maybe do a twerk. Not, not you, Takashi. It's Takashi like fuck. Yeah, you can do a twirl, whatever. Okay. okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> there you go. I knew you guys would. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. That's right. Just a little bit. You know? God damn. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, no. I'm pretty sure all this BBW talk 
niggas will still be in a DM, bro. That'll be in a DM, yeah. man. Facts. Hey, I'm They're sorry, the ones I'm that talk shit and then still pull up. Crazy, yeah. what's your OnlyFans? Doctor B eighty four. Doctor B eighty four. Brace yourself because the chat is gonna be ruthless tonight, and you know why? Holy. Okay. Well, that's why I had them stand up for y'all. Uh, last thoughts, two bucks. Uh, guess we brought the whales out tonight, huh, fellas? I knew niggas was gonna talk shit. No, I know. Uh, Jordan Edney, uh, first time making the live, even though I've been watching for a while. Y'all are the goats. Appreciate all the cons that keep crushing. I remember, ladies, these chats came in before. Yeah, yeah. Seto Kaiba, two bucks. Uh, uh, two bucks goes. Girl next to mine look like anime protagonist. No protagonist. 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 Okay. I want to be an anime character, so that's my life goal. So anyone who calls me an anime character yeah. or a waifu or anything along those lines, you're just like feeding my ego. That's awesome. So, yeah. yeah, fuck that. Plus, I don't have what's anime. your favorite anime? Like, yeah. That's sweet. Like, what's your favorite anime? The- Favorite anime? I, Sailor Moon. I'm I'm tatted all over yes. for Sailor, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, what's your favorite anime? I don't watch anime. <gasps> How dare you? I don't understand it. Blasphemy. It's like confusing to me. Oh, Open your, your mind, girl. Oh, I what about you? Attack on Titan. Oh, hey. Hey. She's okay. cultured. She's cultured. Girl. Yes, cultured. Wait, what about you? AOT is Have good. Have you ever seen? This is like niche. Right. Seven mortal sins, not seven deadly sins. Seven what? mortal sins. Seven mortal sins? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Watched I watched the deadly older. ones. Mortal. It's like yeah. a super like sexy one. Like oh, the oh. bloody, oh. like, what? Hitachi, yeah, so there's like, like gluttony, there's so and, like, hentai. all this sins, yeah, so right? But hentai. they're like sexy, like, girls. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's, so it's porn. Have you guys watched the anime <laughs> where, like, so girls, they orgasm so and then they hentai. turn into weapons? So all right, that's that switch. That's yeah, I love that. Totally like, when, they, when they fight with their boobs, like, love it. Love right it. there. All right. Okay. What's wrong with anime? Boobs? Yeah. The term is called fan service. I can't hear her. What'd you say? I'm literally Diane from Seven Deadly Sins. Duh. Hey. Respect, okay. Respect. I mean, yes, <laughs> that's pretty good anime. I mean, you both are big, so. <laughs> no, she, she's a giant. <laughs> giant titty. Giant titty. <laughs> All right. Man, this nigga, bro. Man, she's all right. My favorite is Sailor Moon. Does Pokemon count as anime? Yeah, it does. Yeah. I, that it's was my favorite American. growing up, that and Yu-Gi-Oh. I loved, and Nar- Naruto, that was, I loved that too. Okay, shout out to Naruto. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you you get uh, good Naruto uh, trash. Um, what? what? <laughs> okay, I no. won't lie. Naruto is, is literally a love story about how much he wants to suck Sasuke's dick. And if anyone's into it, that's cool. I respect it. But Sasuke. The, the fights are cool. Just so you know, it's, it's the power the, of friendship. Love if you story. understood people's friendship powers, it's you would understand it's awesome. It's so <laughs> it's awesome. It's it's awesome. It's like, Sasuke, no. <laughs> Naruto. And, and you like, a hater, bro. You yeah. a hater, bro. You triggered my trap card. <laughs> that shit is trash. Yeah, uh, it's nothing crazy. Yeah, uh, Dragon Ball Z is my favorite, but I know y- y'all know that already. Uh, Kentucky Fried Fun, Myron and Fresh. What single YouTuber have y'all gained the most from interviewing slash working with? Who would you both see as a dream guest to host? That's a good question. I might have to think about that one. Um, honestly, man, I gotta say, the best would Shout be. Shout to Brandon. Brandon gave some good sauce today, man. Uh, for me, it's Andrew Tate. Yeah, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Hands down, man. Yeah, shout out to Andrew Tate. That's our guy. Yeah. Um, I and like then Andrew. Um, who do? Uh, future. Who do we want to bring? Future. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to bring Future on the show. We will. We will have him on the show one we day, will, guys. We Don't will. worry. That will happen. Uh, yeah. Love my white Nubian queens. Goddamn, three of them for us tonight. Nubian Chris. queens. Hey, you already know it. <laughs> yeah. See, I, <laughs> that's such a contradiction. Yeah. Uh, from fresh to fit rating. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is from you. So fresh, read it. So go seven. Seven. Four point five. Five. No, no. 4.5. Uh, 4.5. Okay. 6.5. Uh-huh. 6. 4.5. <laughs> and then 4. Okay. Y'all got I'm anything sure you want to say pri- back to them? I'm sure you're a prize. I'm sure he's hobby. a zero. <laughs> yeah. I'm anyone sure that would get a solid rating has no scale to like even grasp from. So. All right. <laughs> you can still subscribe to my OnlyFans. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Fantastic. Subscribe. Premium Reviews 5 bucks says, well, even if we're brave, the way you seated this panel, you might have Floor collapsed by the doors. <laughs> Pray for your neighbors. You need to yeah, that's fucked up, man. Yo, yo. Uh, Drip season Sorry. wrestling. Ten bucks say, but oh, no, we don't already. Oh. Jesse D. Paolo, five bucks says, nice heavy set day. I said, five bucks, five bucks. This pedal is bigger than y'all kill a celeb y'all ever brought on. Yo, celeb y'all ever brought on. I already knew it, man. All right, uh, oh love God. white, white Nubian queen, five bucks says, on Why DSG, we're going into the deep blue sea with them BD- oh. BDWs. Oh. Hey, I love you, a big white woman. Good job cruising tonight. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. Thank you, go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Charlie goes, oh, it's a thick one, BBW, I think means, by the way. I like the video. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, Chad Poole, um, question for the ladies. Would you rather be with a country boy or a city boy and Myron and fresh country girl or city girl? Okay, we can say that. Uh, we'll run around the table real fast on that, so we'll start here. Uh, city city guy or country boy for I'm you? a country boy because I grew up in Kentucky. I okay. like to go mudding, and I like all that good shit. Hey, Riding yeah. a real horse instead of a Mustang? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right, what about you? Yeah. City boy. Okay. Country boy. Okay. I would take either one. Mormon boy? Definitely country. What was that? Anything but what? that. Definitely country for country? me. Country? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't mind either because um, I come from the country, but prefer city. Okay. And then for us, um I'll take both nigga. Country <laughs> girls can cook for you though. I'll, yes. take both. I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. City Depends. girls gonna order out. Pretty much. Does anyone on the panel want to go to the gym with me? I'll pay you. This thing. <laughs> <laughs> right here. What's good? Uh that's from Spider Man. What's good, ladies? Y'all ready? Oh L O L six eighty nine K long journey, my friends. Countdown to Dallas meetup uh twenty seventh <laughs> yes, to the twenty ninth. We will be in Texas. Yeah, we'll uh, be May in Texas. 27th. Uh Mr. Quantum, good evening, F and F fam. For the ladies, can't wait to hear how perfect and unflawed you all are. Also, please describe in detail how your body count and how selling yourself online doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, all around sounds. Mr. Quanta really matters, matters a lot lot to you. Yeah, he's been around. Uh, all around sounds. Uh, Myron. Myron. Do you look into what that girl from last night was talking about? The bank robber with the better knife? Shout out to FNF slash Lolo. I did not. Um, let's go. Let's go, boys. Uh, back with another show. Keep spitting that real talk. Okay, and that's from this back all the way from New Zealand. Thank you. Uh, and then we got uh, Wajid, Wajid Abdul. Finally catching FNF Live. Shout out to the best podcast world, Aid Mubarak Myron. Tonight's the BBW show. <laughs> Hit the haram button. Haram. <laughs> what, what, so, wait, wait. So, yeah, um, <laughs> what's the official? So, to be a BBW, you got to be said, you said a 14? Yeah, 14 and up. 14 and up? Oh, I'm there. Like, what? Okay, you're a 14? Oh, yeah. Okay, what, what are y'all? Is this the most that someone said BBW in the chat? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like. Do we take You're into consideration the waist to ass ratio? Right, it's ass fat. That's it. Like it's just bigger than my waist. It's so just so I, it's size. Size. twenty inches. When it comes to waist, it does help the the okay, aesthetically looking view. There but overall, niggas are like <laughs> we're voluptuous as fuck. Like I got a nice ass, a better titties, term. I got a fat ass, and I have a flat stomach. I mean, I can what you want a little BBW, boy? You want a little boy? What you want a little boy? Right. But you know what's funny about all this? Niggas gonna be talking this shit and still want to smash. So like, bro. Of course. Like it, it I never actually What's like thought about it, like BBW? what constitutes as 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 BBW. So it's a fourteen up. <laughs> yeah, or Google it. it. Google a BBW. This podcast. Yeah. It's not us. Like I don't want to burn my eyes. Yeah. As well as for um, high end <laughs> models. Um, so if I if I take ten BBC BBW, would y'all come up? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I guess the official thing is anything on uh, uh, fourteen and up is considered BBW. And so you said you're fourteen. What about y'all two? I don't know. I haven't I ordered jeans in a long time. Jeans, really bitch. Right. Hmm. I'm jeans, like, I'm no European. Like and European, girl. I'm a 38. Oh, wait, there's jeans. That and big? then <laughs> I'm a large. <laughs> you know what's European size? Is. Is. So it's your, is, is, the inch. is that? European is a, like a 38 is like a 9 or a 10. So in the u.s yeah okay yeah. i don't know anything about women's fashion so they, they, they could it's be capping like, and i won't know european is just the inches it's gonna inches. be the inches around wait but so you said you're a nine european, and then you so. say you're a nine there's no way y'all are yeah, the I'm same size, size. Nine, size there's no 10. way y'all are the same so, size <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but well, the, the, <laughs> the thing is, I'm a, I do fashion. I do measurements. Right. So I go by inches, like men's sizes. I go by 30. I mean, you're all right beautiful. I'm just saying there's no way. <laughs> so wow. it's just there's like, no I way. know my sizes. I mean, yeah. I just shop European. So I'm you do what you do, baby. I'll okay. be looking cute. 38. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So we got a little bit of, uh, cause I didn't know. Jay Wynn uh, uh, goes, Big Mo. Mike got a shot tonight. Take a pick, Mo. Okay. <laughs> Keep it up, y'all. Love for Maryland. Actually, That's from Digital Devil. Thoughts on Big Mo? Who the hell? Big Mo. We like, he has such a nice voice. He's so calm. Yeah, I love Big Mo. There you go. He's so cute. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Look, he's so innocent. Good boy. Good boy, Mo. Good boy. Good boy, Mo. 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 Uh, that's okay, because Mo's on that path. Yeah. Uh, Digital Devil, he's, he, what, you've already lost like 60 pounds, right, bro? Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's, gonna be there. He's, he's making it. Uh, Digital <laughs> Devil, keep it up, love uh, from Maryland. Okay. No, we weren't going to ask. Uh, that's from Little King, a bunch of whale emojis. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, <laughs> one to two, 13. Three. Damn. Did Big Mo pick the panel today? No <laughs> psychology today. Golden Corral. Here we go. What the oh fuck? My oh, my uh, God. Glenn Harrison, five bucks. Shots at FNF. They got Lizzo in all shapes tonight. <laughs> 
ruthless. <laughs> wow. Which one of these girls are night riders? And the chick. Oh my god, the... that one's a girl. <laughs> that one's a girl. Oh, it'd be the no, bitches no, no, that no, be no. hating. It's, no, it's a fake account. It's, 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 a, it's definitely yeah. a fake yeah. account. It's probably my ex boyfriend. It's definitely my ex boyfriend. Uh, for sure. And then, uh, it, it goes. Uh, <laughs> chicken and orange gained a lot of weight since sure. last time she was on the show. God damn, nigga. The- um, who here is uh, who here is Knight Rider? Do you like black guys? I love black guys. Yeah. Okay. What about Me you? Too. You do too. Okay. Yes. Team BBC. Okay. Team BBC. Is your boyfriend BBC. black? He's Jamaican. Yeah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Yard tell. man. Okay. Big black and juicy. Okay. Is your Make him- somewhat husband black? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone's husband. <laughs> I'm <laughs> done. My friend. Yeah. Oh, All right. okay. Uh, three oh four pounds. That's this nigga, bro. And then how much for ninja pies? Looks like going to crown on Sunday. All you can eat, sheesh. Okay. Uh, blue ice. I'm 19 and make 80k a year off construction. I don't know where to branch off to to be at one million a year. Any advice? Also, where should I be dating wise? Um, 19 years old, bro. You need to just like fucking explore. And then as far as like making that kind of money, bro, you make a good amount of money. Live with your parents and save some of that, and then invest in real estate. Might as well. Kabo and Q. I uh, swear Miami only got like three lines of work for girls. A statistician, model, or sex. Okay. Uh, <laughs> comment section is going to be brutal. Brace yourselves, brace yourselves, ladies. I count on you to not get triggered by the chat style FNF for your success. Five bucks. And then manual raise. Never wife and only fans, females equal divorce. Okay. Uh, why would you marry one? I don't know. Okay. Are you married? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell he's doing there. Uh, Jonathan Hogu. Hey, ladies, my underwear are up around my ankles as we speak, and I'm trying to see some buns. Give us a spit. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Okay. Honestly, yeah, rewind much... like three or four minutes. The lady, the lady stood up. Okay, yeah. so you, you can, can have. have some... Yeah, yeah. That's all yeah. You need. There, there's your fat material. <laughs> and then shameless antics. Love the, loving the BBW panel tonight. Chris finally got what I like. <laughs> okay, okay, no, guys. <laughs> and oh, coach, this panel is the living embodiment of men and women live two different lives. Okay. Yep. You skipped over my intro. Name Cosby. Age sixty. Chris. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Relationship status taken. By the federal government. That's from OG Cosby. <laughs> 10 bucks. Thank you. And then uh, from this point forward, Chris, what are we going to uh, do? 20 and up. All right. From this point forward, guys, we're going to read 20 and up. So every single super chat that comes in is going to be shown on screen. However, we're only going to read the ones that are 20 and up because we've got two videos to react to. Yeah. You want to pull one up now or keep going? Uh, we'll keep going and then we'll just. Uh... All right. I'm going to speed through these guys. Okay. All right. Uh, SK Movie Watcher all the way from South Africa. Ratings for tonight from Myron. Six. Diabetes, 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 seven. Wow. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> they're fucking weird. They're probably yo, so yo. ugly and fat. <laughs> they're so hot. And they probably have so much money. And they're going to subscribe. Yo, they're they're going to subscribe. Subscribe. Yo, you, yo, you, 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 talk shit to me in my DMs, daddy. It turns uh, me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the cash app. Little do you know, I have a degradation. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. And Sarah is seven. Yo. I don't know how to hear about his diabetes. <laughs> Bro, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm bad, man. Yo, it's okay, ladies. They talk way more shit to us. Y'all should see. Yo, they they show ma- me. I'm too black. Yeah, they say he's too black. When he wears a black hoodie, they be like, yo, he's like naked, yeah. naked. They say no, Chris no. can't speak English. <laughs> they be roasting Chris on the Reddit. Yo, it's they make fun of hey, me for not like, His nose is too big. Yeah, they make fun of my nose. They call me a Bin Laden I saw son. A meme with me in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, because get fucked, you BBC. Hard. Oh, BBC. Oh. Uh, I have no idea, I but I saw it and it was fucked up, but That's it was weird. hilarious. Why would, they put, why would they have a meme? I don't know. They had a quantum and they had a like galaxy stars behind him. Me in a wheelchair. Like, what the fuck? There, no one is safe, bro. No one's safe. All right, here are the hero, who, which is his dog. Uh, poodles don't gain weight like y'all humans. Man, I'm blessed. <laughs> all right, the Quanta Chris about to knock all the big girls down. Okay, shout out to the Quanta. You probably watch it right now. Hey, Pull up, Quan. Chris. Where the fuck your eyebrows at, bro? Hey, Neil. Hey. Fuck you, nigga. Wait, 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 wait. wait, hold up. Put the camera, Chris, put the camera on you, nigga. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You really don't got eyebrows, bro. That's what it is. Yeah, it is uh, what it is. Okay. Some men have too many. Chris, too much. Chris, Chris, Christopher Vibe. Uh, hold up, Chris. Oh, no, I read that one. All right. Looks like Chris manned the harpoons tonight. That's from Albo Ace. Uh, Shadish <laughs> Merger Kerr. Uh, he goes, uh, Quantum was unbearable during her first appearance on FNF. She's come a long way since then and became one of my favorite FNF girls. P.S. This ain't me shooting my shot. I couldn't do that to Myron. Hashtag bro code. <laughs> nigga, bro. All right, Kellen Pickney. Uh, trying to put my brother on y'all content, but he wants to learn the hard way. Wish I had this game in my early 20s. Had to learn the hard way, but don't stop fresh and fit salute. Yeah, you yeah, can't force people, bro. man. Yeah, you can't force it. He'll learn on his own. Um, and then um, we got Desmond Montgomery. Enjoyed the fr- uh, vlog fresh. Also, I dislike that y'all get major hate from the same things that so- someone, everyone knows, says also, and it's because of y'all. Yeah. Bro, the thing is- We got haters, bro. You got to understand, guys, that right now, um, we're very high in the SEO and the search yeah. engine optimization on YouTube. So if you 
put fresh and fit in your title, you're automatically going to get more views. And okay? actually, this is free marketing because guys, people that didn't, didn't know who you are, are, are at all from all over the world, they, yo, I know I see your podcast. I see, I see you somewhere before. So it's like, it's exposure, honestly. YouTube channels that have like three, four, five times our, our following yeah. are go ahead and comment about us on whether it's TikTok, whether it's uh, YouTube, whatever it may be. On TikTok, someone showed it to me. We have 335 million people that use our hashtag on TikTok alone. And we've been banned off it for over a year. But you know what's funny? Like <laughs> back in the day, I walk into a room, nobody knew our podcast. And I was like, oh, I seen you somewhere. And it's it's marketing. Yeah. Shout, shout out to y'all, man. So so real talk, all the and haters. It's free. And it's yeah, free. Yeah. Like <laughs> all the haters, man. man. Like, yo, uh, I'm not even gonna mention some of y'all names, but yo, you guys are our unpaid free marketing team, man. Because what you guys don't realize is the more you talk about us, the more people are like, yo, I'm intrigued. And then they come over and like, damn, these niggas provide a lot of value. And then they stay. Because here's the thing. We put out good content, so I'm not too worried. Oh, People can up. go ahead, discover us however they want, and then they'll come and figure it out. They'll be like, damn, this is lit. Actually, uh, don't tell them because then they might stop talking about us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. <laughs> that's true. But, but they no, can't. they're not because we they pay can't. a lot of people's yeah. bills, bro. You're they right. Can't. Because Thanks people get views. If you, if you talk shit about Fresh and Fit, you make a hit piece, it's going to be one of your most viewed videos. And that's a fact. That's not even me trying to brag or anything like that. Keep so them coming. You want to talk shit? Yeah, keep, go ahead, guys. You're literally our unpaid marketing team. <laughs> uh, quantum oh no sorry okay try to put my brother on oh, no. and then we got uh Dezo montgomery okay nope read that yep. one did y'all move to the studio to the first floor for safety Just like <laughs> okay <laughs> why that girl too over from fresh look like rikishi <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know what Bruce rikishi, rikishi. Fuck this shit i'm out <laughs> Fuck this shit i'm i don't know i can't even understand we'll pull up a picture real quick uh <laughs> right, tell me cuts and you can say something back to him uh, Aunt, this is Aunt. San 89, you got anything you want to say back Bro. to him? You have anything you want to say back to him? Who? Just, what? Just like an aunt. I don't know who, who's Rikishi. Like, like, who the fuck is that? You don't watch WWE? All right. Back in the day? Here we go. Po po you got it, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right. This is Rikishi right here. And Mysterio. Don't <laughs> 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 be wrong. <laughs> But my titties are way bigger than that. <laughs> no. Fuck <laughs> 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 Y'all are wrong for that. Y'all are wrong for that. That's fucking funny. All right, edit from fresh to fit. Um. Okay. Seven, five. Three, seven, point five, four, two point five, and then five point five. Oh yeah, two point. I I'll average out. That's Yo, she's opening up a candy store, bro. <laughs> Wait, that's um, the same guy. He just changed. He changed it. it. <laughs> he changed it. <laughs> so he <laughs> marked us <laughs> down. <laughs> we roasted him. All right, now we got a few more. Okay, I'm gonna read these last ones, and then the guys from the special four twenty up. Twenty up from here, man. All right, cool. Uh, well, no, did they come in before Chris? All right, no, no, after. Oh, they came in after. Okay, all right, all right. Damn, you guys breaking the scales above and below the waist jesus christ okay that's from renee ortiz i know them chairs gonna stink after the show that's elbow ace okay fuck, bro? sorry i'm trying to launch into orbit what's good ma that's from kumasan <laughs> what's your instagram yeah drop um the my instagram is the key x like x whoa it's a little complicated honestly it's Word. Victoria XL it's down below. Define you. it's linked below guys yeah. and it's in the story on instagram noel yeah. calderon uh 20 bucks fresh and fit the Chubby Chaser episode, okay? <laughs> Stevie Wonder chose this panel, <laughs> Tash Cunningham, all the way from Australia. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we got the whole go. world in here, bro. I see a bunch of different Don't currencies. Shout out to y'all. We Where got Australia. Go? I saw South Africa. I saw Euros. I saw Canadian dollars. So, guys, thank you so much, man. We're worldwide at this point. And, um, yeah, yo, Chris, you mentioned something about Twitch? Uh, Can you say something trick, uh, crazy? No, no. Okay. All right. So, we got a video to react to. You want to give him a quick little background on it? Yes. Right. Um. So, actually, should we make an announcement or no? We can do it in the middle. Okay, in the middle. Cool. Um, so, Chris, can you pull, pull up the first one? Yes, sir. Because there's two, actually. And by the way, guys, we'll wait for Chris to pull this up, guys. DMs on a man is out. It's, it's live. D get DMs on a man.com. Get DMs on a man.com because you guys have been asking for it. We honestly weren't going to put it out until I got a bunch of DMs from y'all saying, yo, put DMs on a man out. So, uh, and some of y'all Instagrams are trash. And we, we're probably going to do a, uh, a um, smash or pass as well. You know what? We should do it. We should probably do a smash or pass so these girls can go ahead and roast somebody. Yeah, back. how about that? <laughs> yes, please, so, do send it. Your Instagram, send your Instagram in. They're going to roast y'all. And then they're going to roast your Instagram profiles. They're going to give, I want you ladies to be honest. Absolutely honest. Honest, like, would you respond to this guy if he damned you? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So if y'all want to get your Instagram roasted, <laughs> and it's going to be 50 bucks. We'll give you our live expertise yeah. on air. Yes. Yeah. So you don't got to pay for it. So we'll do that. So react to this video. Yeah. If you guys want, it's going to be 50 bucks. Do it. <laughs> put in Tell your, you why. your Let's Instagram account with the at, and then we'll go ahead and rate your Instagram live on air with the lovely ladies here. Uh, be prepared because y'all been talking shit. So they're going to be extra critical. No, but that's good though. Tough love. Before you bring it up, Chris, uh, no, the other one. 
Okay. So yeah, but don't, don't bring it up yet. All right. Okay. So ladies, quick question. So in your experience, right? Do you know a guy's actual size from looking at it? And we'll start right here. So let's say like, so, like you, you, you prefer like six to eight inches or whatever. Do you actually know oh, what size. size his dick is when you see him? <clears throat> and we'll start right here. Like with clothes on or without? Either or. <laughs> like, can you like kind of like assume what it is off of looking? Yeah. Um, I think your demeanor says a lot. Um, but also like some men are growers, not showers, so it just yeah. kind of depends. And what do you prefer? What do you mean? Like inches wise. And what do I prefer? Um <laughs> just big enough. <laughs> okay. What about you? I honestly, you know, I don't care if it's two inches or twelve. My pussy's like sensitive and it's really like tight. So if it's too thick, it's probably going to hurt. Mm. And I have this like phobia of like loose pussy. So if I see one, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to eat that. Wow. Yeah. It's, mm, so, so you could two inches is it's fine for you. All it takes is two inches to make a woman come. Honestly, only as a lesbian, I'll you know. say that. Uh, it's personal facts. Experience. Trust me, I bring a personal experience. <laughs> Just <say> okay. <laughs> what about you? Um. Can you tell from like? First appearance and then I've been surprised both ways before. Particularly, I used to do webcaming and I, I've been surprised with how small or how big. So I don't think I can tell. I can tell by I mean looking at it, I can judge pretty well. But and what do you prefer? How many inches? At least six, but like bigger than like eight and a half. Like that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Like the way a guy acts, you can tell. Like mm, he got a small dick for show, or that thing is banging. <laughs> what what that are some small dick telltales then for the people out there or the women out there that might be Big watching? Big trucks with the stupid exhaust. Okay. I didn't realize that that there's a direct correlation between truck size and penis Not size. Not always, but okay. What about what about you? How do you know? Yeah, I feel like if they have like too much like attitude or sass or like. They're too, like, piped up. Like, a man with a big dick, he know he got a big dick. He don't got to do too much. Like, listen, my dick big, you want it or not. But, like, a man with a small dick, he's going to do the most. Mm. You know? I don't know. Okay. Some All of these right. little dick motherfuckers it. are bold. Yeah, yeah they are very bold. <laughs> okay. be, mm -hmm. What about you? Um, I feel like I could tell, too. Like, if a guy <clears throat> is, like, chill, relax. Okay, you got a big dick. But if he'll be here, like, oh, what's up? <laughs> you got a small dick. <laughs> um, he's but doing too, he's doing too much. Yeah, yeah he's doing too much. Yeah. But uh, for me, I need a big dick. Sorry, yeah, too, I got a big ass. Sure. A big dick. Big dick. I got a BBW <laughs> body. <laughs> I need a big dick. Okay. 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 I need a BBW dick. Okay. 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 Where the BBW Shit. dick at? Where the big dick at? <laughs> they make my ribs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. I, I don't know, know either. It's me. Click it in. Pause, nigga. I'm a. I'm a people reader. I can, like, she, they all said was the fact of, like, people be acting different when they have a small dick because they have something to compensate for. But, but for the most part, <laughs> I go by straight up anatomy. How tall, how big your feet are, like, what's the the appropriate size that goes with your body size. Interesting. Wait, so uh, can you uh, tough fresh? No, 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 no. Stop, Chris. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so, so, in my so, experience, hold on, hold on. I've been blessed with men with large dicks. I, I don't have a preference. I gotta know. Since you're an expert, yes. can you tell us on the panel what you think? I would never do so because the world's not ready for that. No, no. I'm, I'm ready for it. Tell me. I believe you, but the world's not. Okay. <laughs> Rush, uh, show your feet, man. No, no, no. I'm curious. Like, no. <laughs> no, I am just, like, personally a people reader. Like, your okay, anatomy so, will tell you so tell what me. size your yes. dick is. Is it so. smaller or large? You're an average size man. Okay, so I'm average. Yeah. And then you'll probably well, just be a little extra average just okay. because of your ethnicity and so on and so forth. Okay. Where are you from? What is he? <laughs> you put me on the spot like this. I was like, I'm not ready for this pressure. I'm like, what are you, Cooley? Where are you from? Island? <laughs> <It's> like, <"Cooley." laughs> my bad, baby. Cool. No, my parents are from Sudan. Oh. That's so, North Africa. It's like, right. Oh, no I one know, knows I, where the fuck it is. So oh, it's listen, like, her for a loop. I know education. I thought it was a car. Not, oh, you know where it is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So small or large? I would say medium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not nothing crazy. Small or large? This nigga. What? Why do you care? Like, Why yeah. do you care? Yeah. Yeah. So it's because, because oh, it plays the video. The topic? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Fair so enough. off like how we move and like how we're acting and then like from looking, what do you think? Small or large? I think you got a big dick. Big dick energy. I think you got a big dick. I think you got like you're not small. You got like 
average day. Average day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Medium. Don't you get medium. that? That's the medium energy. <laughs> Nobody here got a small day. Y'all got like. Yeah, everyone got an average day. Like, hey, hey, but y'all think like, we got a small day, it's fine. It's not going to hurt our feelings, yeah. man. We, oh, we, okay. we, I get told by girls every day, yeah, small day energy. Obviously, like, oh, none of us here are worried okay. about hurting Vicky. anybody's feelings. Listen, I, I agree, so let's skip me. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. She's I like, I theory. theory. So, okay, so I guess, I guess, so I, I'm medium and he's large as well. You agree with her, Miss Candy Store? Yes. Candy Store's over here. Yeah, yeah. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Miss Willy Wonka. Okay, you have a theory, right? Um, right. So we're talking about like the guys with the big trucks, like with the small dick, right? Like that stereotype. Mm -hmm. What if it's kind of like the opposite as well? Like if you have a big dick, you may not think like, oh, I don't have to try as hard, right? It could be like a flipped. Mm -hmm. So based on that, I would say you probably have a big dick and you probably have a medium to large. Okay. Yeah. Can we pull it out? <laughs> oh, Ooh, are you you know, know, what, are what are we doing on the Patreon? Well, I don't know where Bruce is going here, but it's fine. I'm, I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Pause. These are freshest questions. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay. You got some other shit what about you? you? I feel like your dick is long, but it's not that big. But it's like, <laughs> oh, no, that's like a good ratio, no, though. I mean, yeah, and and for you, I don't think you're long, but I think you're thick. You're probably like a thick six. Lesbians know that. A thick six? I'll say the opposite. Yeah, thick. No, 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 no. He's a, fucking a, long a. and he's, he's thick. <laughs> thick like, yeah. Okay. And then, Destiny. Respectfully. Respectfully. I, mean, I got to answer this one? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, she will not answer that one. If Fuck y'all. She ain't answering that. So, plead the fifth. I feel you feel. Okay. <laughs> No, just look at me like an example, like, <laughs> like an estimate. I don't know. I mean, don't you even seem like you, you do well. You're, you're good. <laughs> Get shit and I know okay. he's good, so. Wait, how do you know he's good? I oh. just think he's <laughs> good. Okay. He's fine. All right. Cool. So, anything else. <laughs> so, we can, so, we're back to, so, we have the uh, video now. Next. So, basically, this, this doctor, when I was asking girls, <laughs> do you know the actual length of a guy's shaft? And it's funny to see their answers because, yeah, it's funny to see their answers, so. You got Chris? Yeah. Just think about it jerking off. Yeah. I know, man. No <laughs> sign. The video is about to come peanut, up. Hold with, on. Give me a peanut butter. Hey, yeah, it's oil. I have no idea what this measures. Five. Eight. Ten. Seven. Six. Five. Twelve. Twelve. Seven. Twelve. We're going to ask some guys. Five. This is six. Six. Six inches. In every yeah, six. Place. I knew it. That's literally yeah. half. All right. Let's uh, see it again. It's crazy that women have no idea what this measures. Five, eight, ten, seven, six, <laughs> five, twelve, twelve, seven, twelve. We're gonna ask some guys. Five, six, six, six inches. In every All right, there we go. And, and it has wow. also been proven that like women are way less spatially aware than men are. Like that's why they're terrible with directions. That's the truth. That's like, yeah, yeah, like like this is why like men are superior when it comes to like engineering, like figuring out directions, everything like that. Men, like men are made to like observe the landscape and be able to like manipulate it, you know, to you know forge fires and create houses and all this, other, create a whole shelter and all the other stuff. So I'm not surprised that the women struggle to actually accurately assess it. So, but okay, so <laughs> <laughs> let's think of a few on a bed. Um, so real quick. So next question is, ladies, mm -hmm. in your opinion, or from your expertise, <laughs> what do you now look for in a guy, right? Yeah. Uh, could it, they could include like money, looks, maybe status, maybe like length, size. What do you look for in a guy? And we'll start right here. Me personally, I'm pansexual. So I care about what's between your ears, not what's between your legs. Can you tell the people what pansexual means? Yeah, Pan, break it down. Literally <laughs> is I care about what your mental space is more than your sexuality. You can be trans, cis, whatever the fucking words you want to choose. I don't really give a fuck. You can name yourself whatever the fuck you want. You'll date a guy that's gay? I've The first guy I ever dated turned into a drag queen and he still does my What hair. the fuck? Oh, uh, how did that make you feel? I did not give a fuck because everyone was telling me at a very young age that he was gay. And I was like, yeah, I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like I'm going to marry him. Like, I was young, so I didn't give a fuck. Okay. So that's my mindset. So what if I describe myself as it? Would you, as it? Would, would you date it? 
if your mental landscape can have a conversation as we're all having a conversation at this table, yeah. interacting, bringing up points like a normal human being, I don't care what you identify yourself as. You okay. can call yourself a fucking cactus as long as it <laughs> fucking works. Like, honestly, so, like, as long as it <laughs> fucking works and you have a fucking well-paying job and you get your shit together and you're not a fucking hobo on the street, so, we're cool. So let's say I'm a guy. Mm -hmm. What would you want to see in me then? As a man, it's different because I tend to take on a masculine role when you don't I'm with say. females. Mm. <laughs> if you don't know. <laughs> but if I'm with a man, I expect him to have those masculine traits. Shout out to Parrot Jungle. I'm not trying to have no one take care of me, but I can take care of myself. But like, if you're going to fix something, do whatever, like take on that role to like take charge. If you want something done, say it. So, so on and so forth. But I'm just a little that, curious. So so, okay, I, I see that you're accepting of all people regardless of mm -hmm. how they identify. But my question is from, from a relationship standpoint, will you date a guy that's like bisexual and stuff? Like, will, like actually, like you'll see him and you'll hook up with him and everything and you'll be okay doing that? As long as he's going to be honest with me about who he's with. And hey, baby, partnership. I just sucked the dick earlier. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> no, you. if you're going to suck some dick and go fuck somebody else, you better go get an STD test because I give a fuck about myself more than anybody else. What if they use the condom during dinner? Yeah. By huh. curious. All right, Exchange. and that's the case. And I'm gonna go eat some pussy at lunchtime. You can have some dick at dinner, and then we can come home in the morning and have mimosas. Okay, so you're okay. not smashing him. Yeah, no, we can have the fucking well, we can awesome. have. No, 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 I, no, it's just, it's just, it's, it's kind of me and Fresh have a theory. No, no, so no, that's no, why I I'm just asking. No, that's why I'm asking these questions. Away. I'm in the lifestyle where, like, I've seen and been with a lot of different individuals that choose to not have an identity for their gender. So, where do you find these people? I work in at Fetish Factory. Gotcha. So I meet a lot of people that choose to not identify their sex, whether they're naturally born as intersex or they choose to change into a transgender or vice versa, or they choose to be non -binary. Transformers? Robots, Transformers. Yeah. That's disguise. my favorite word to call them. I, I know, I, but, they love that. But my thing is, like, it seems to me that you'll accept them and you'll hang out with them and you'll have conversation with them. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to, like, sexual arousal and fucking with them, like, I literally, am, you're not going to do that. Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm the man in it most relationships, okay. and so I like to be submissive. Okay. Okay. So if right. they're not, whether they identify as whatever the fuck it is, I'm going to be the one who's okay. going to have to be in so, charge. So to clarify, that. for dating preferences, you don't want that. No, the, I want to. Like, I want to be the little cute little housewife <laughs> shuffling around making food for everybody. Okay. But if I have to, because you're a bitch, because I've been with men that they are female, <laughs> and I am now the man in the relationship. And I'm like, all right, baby, you gonna have to do this, 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 and this, and I'm gonna come home, and this house better be clean, and my food better be ready. And you have, you've told guys that? Yes, as a straight oh. up, like they want to be my bitch. So we got our first smasher, smasher pass. Okay. What's up? Okay. So, wow. What about okay. you? Go ahead, baby. Okay. So what do you look for in so, a guy? Okay. One, you have to have a good personality. Mm -hmm. Like, if I can't vibe with you, if you're not my best friend, that's a problem. I don't care if you look good, you're successful, whatever. You have to. We have to vibe. Like. I could be comfortable around you, all that. Two, I'm a hustler. I'm a go-getter. So you got to be a hustler and a go-getter. You don't have to be the richest man in the world. Just, you know, be a power couple. Like, I don't want to take care of you. You don't need to take care of me. Let's Would it be together. fair to say he's got to earn at least what you earn? If yeah, more? minimal. Yeah. Okay. Um, And, you know, he got to have some swag. You know, he has to look dress nice. If I'm dressing nice, I don't want to have to tell you how to, what to wear. And um, Out of curiosity for you, since ambition seems to be so important. Uh, what what's the brand minimum they've got to earn for you? We'll say annual basis, or you could say monthly, whatever's easier. Hmm. We in Miami, you know? <laughs> yeah, just okay. keep it a thousand. Just yeah, just keep it a thousand. What's the bare minimum that a guy's gonna need for you to like fuck with him and like you know potentially like be his girl, be yeah. girl. Or I smash. mean, honestly, when I first met my man, like for real, like he he wasn't even like really buying me nothing crazy, like just be able to like I would say shit. Fifty thousand, sixty thousand a month. That's it. A month. Yeah. A oh, month. sorry, a month. A month. A month. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Fifty, sixty thousand a month. A year. <laughs> yeah. So that that equates okay. to uh, that's gonna be uh, six hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. That's gonna six, be six hundred thousand dollars a year. A year. Okay. So um, okay. So that's bare, bare minimum they gotta make. To, I don't want to say that though because honestly, like it depends. Like I don't. It depends on the guy. Like if you're a good guy, and I see that. Like, cause sometimes shit, you might be on the come up. Like you might not have it right now but you might be on the come up and as long as you're treating me well like you know you respecting me like shit you can go to Publix and get me $20 flowers that's gonna mean 
so much to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So but, it's a lot. But regardless, like you're gonna want him to at least be ambitious or be on that level where you are where you are bare minimum. So all right, so we could say somewhere between fifty to sixty is bare minimum that you're willing to accept for anyone that you're gonna take serious. Are you with? Are you single right now? Or no, I've I've been on and off now for, with um the same guy for like nine years actually. Wait, nine years? Are y'all yeah. on right now or off right now? Uh, we're on. You're on. Okay, yes. cool. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. I'm assuming he probably makes that bare minimum that you want. Yeah, he's a um, pretty popping um, music producer option. Okay, yeah. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Just stick with him because it's going to be very difficult for you to find a guy that makes that kind of money. <laughs> uh, like in, in the masses, I, I don't think women understand like how uh, rare it is to find a guy that makes a hundred thousand dollars a year, let alone making six hundred thousand dollars a year. And that wants you. That and that wants you. Yeah. yeah, but when I met him, I didn't even like really know he made that much. So I think that's why he fucks with me because it's like. When I you met did. him, yeah, I was just like yeah, young. I just liked him as like a person. Like yeah. his personality was dope. And I think the reason why we last so long is because I think he knows whether he had fifty thousand or five dollars a month. Like it's just been so long that I'm gonna fuck with him regardless. Yeah. Okay. That's a huge difference. No, no, that's good. That's, that's good. good. <laughs> I mean, but you're 26, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what's happening slowly but surely here is that the leverage is gonna start to shift and you're not gonna be able to replace him at the same rate he could replace you. Yeah. So that's why I always tell girls if you got a high earner, like just make it work, bro. Like, if you got a guy and y'all been together for a bit, you guys got some establishment, like, trust me, it's not gra- the grass isn't green on the other side. Like, no, yeah, stick with what sure. you know. For sure. Miami <laughs> is trash. Like, to find men is because, like, even the men with the money out here, shit, you make a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, you a trick. My heart. So, you're going to be buying pussy, buying pussy, buying pussy, <laughs> buying pussy. I don't want a trick. I don't, you know what I'm Yo, saying? You know shit. what's scary, though? It's true. Like, we said, because a lot of guys with, with bread over here, especially crypto, mm-hmm. I'll call no names. Yeah. Bro, they'll buy your girl. Listen, I have a man that pays me five hundred dollars just to sit on his face. He's not allowed to have sex with me. He's not allowed to touch me. And if I see his dick, I charge him extra. So he like sniffs your farts or something? Yeah, pretty much. What the wow. for five hundred dollars? Okay, oh, well, there we go. Yeah. He just Why wants not? to get. He just wants to get close to my pussy, and I'm just like, you're not allowed to fuck me. You're not allowed to do anything. You're not allowed to do anything. Where That's do you dope. do this at? <laughs> it's a personal. It's a private oh, individual. Oh, <laughs> 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 a storage facility somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a private person that i have met through my parties because i like i said i do work at fetish factory what is fetish fetish factory fetish factory is a place that's been open since 1995 that throws fetish parties like bdsm shit right bdsm no cameras no swingers they're not allowed to have any quote-unquote sex but Uh, there's some uh, allegedly (laughs) yeah so a lot of crazy shit happens in the back rooms but i go for the djs and for being able to be a fly on the wall to see all the crazy shit that happens yeah (laughs) Yeah, i don't think um like guys understand that like uh, and thank you for being honest about that like i know a lot of girls that like they'll have some dude that just sends them money every now and then just for feet pictures or sends them money just to send a picture or to text them or whatever like it's crazy like um what guys will pay for when it comes to like female attention or some kind of validation or whatever and you're right like guys here in miami will trick like making 100 grand a year like go broke to trick off on some chick that don't even like them like that bro yeah you know what i mean i won't say the name but he damn bro this nigga just dms girls Mm -hmm. with boyfriends to see what they're gonna do Mm -hmm. they all pay you like three bands five bands and they show up i'm like what the fuck yeah yeah Yeah. it's crazy that's crazy it's crazy but uh buy a bitch but yeah no man i mean (laughs) (laughs) yeah man so uh yeah Vicky, what about you? Do it for a man. Oh, sex, what up for a man? Or like, um, okay, so this is a little difficult question because I feel like March. men play different roles in, in your life. Like you need a man for, you know, to be at home with you. You need a man to like, okay, spend money on you. One for like, you know, just shits and giggles. So, I mean. <laughs> just and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> so, for every day of the week. Yeah, yeah. for sure. What? So, but I mean, this is this a little weird, this little niche that I have, but I like my men a little bisexual. Interesting. It's wait. fun. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, because, because, yeah. uh, let me clear. So, are you telling me that he can <laughs> go suck ass. someone's dick and then come no. back home to you? No, not in a sense I think of what like you mean that. Is no, but I like, I like a man that's like, okay, like he's okay with like being a little feminine. Like, I like my man to like, I think bend what you mean over is, is metrosexual. for me. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Uh, okay, let me, a metrosexual is a man who takes great pride in his aesthetic look. Does gets manicures, pedicures, dresses well, probably uh, fashion, fairly fashionably forward with clothing, uh, does his hair. Gets his teeth cleaned all the time. Do you mean he's I mean, emotional? Maybe the hood ones that I also want to interject like that shit the most. I don't know. Maybe because they've been to prison, but I don't know. Oh, Do you mean oh, he's more emotional, oh, oh, more, huh? more more open to like? No, 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 She's no. About sex. Yeah, like sex wise. Like I'd like a man to be she feminine in the to... bedroom. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I want to ask me. You're her. dominant. He's yeah, submissive. So you, oh yeah. So you peg him? <gasps> no, not like, I mean, guess. if you uh, listen, if he's okay with that, but 
I feel <laughs> like I haven't met a guy yet that's okay with that. Do you eat ass? 10 out of 10, everyone. Do you oh, eat ass? She does. Oh, okay. Do you? No. Do you eat ass? Uh, yes, probably. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you eat ass? Of course. Chocolate Do you eat ass? Yes. Yeah. Do you eat ass? Nope. <laughs> Do you eat ass? Yes. I like them chocolate strawberries. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Hold on. They love it. <laughs> they even like <laughs> spread it <laughs> and like put your tongue in there. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, Real quick, all right, we got to kill the Twitch so, stream. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Twitch and uh, Twitter last and thoughts? Facebook. Last thoughts on the show? No, no. no, 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 no. Sorry, hey, guys, fun. come on over to YouTube. Search Fresh YouTube. YouTube on YouTube. Come on over uh, because, yeah, Twitch, uh, we got too hot. Yeah, we got too hot. It always happens. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool, fine. Cool. Don't worry about it. It's fine. cool. We can do it anyway. Um, cool. So you said you look for a guy that's more like uh, submissive and better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. What you about want you? to moan like a chicken? She's like, oh! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I don't know how far no. you want to go with this. <laughs> like, you just oh, want no. him to act like a chick in there or what? No, I mean, just like, okay, so like, I want him oh. to like bend over. Mm. I mean, can I say this? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just like bend over. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be single after this, but okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> <Lord> <laughs> come in. <laughs> just like bend over and be feminine, you know? Like, just oh, so pegging. share it. Not pegging necessarily, but like bend over, let me eat your ass, like yes. and take bank. that shit and moan while I do it. Oh, <laughs> and let me stick my tongue a little <laughs> bit in there, you know? Like women, okay, that well, at least you're honest. Tongue fucking. Bro, what? Yes. All right. Fantastic. You ain't never had your ass eat? Clearly they haven't. That's girl. where the male Hell spot no. is. No, no, I really? have never had any. Bro, near near the Yeah. Oh, no. Nothing, nothing near the buttocks. I'm, I'm yeah. okay. Yeah. With that. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. It goes out. So nothing goes in. I ain't gonna knock you for it. That's your preference. Yeah. Yo, we know some people that get on all fours. Yes. Bend over. Bend over. Bend over. Moving on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Uh, back with the good here. What do you look for? Uh, yeah. Dating wise, right? Yeah. Um, I love a sense of humor, like a good banter, mm -hmm. um, like a feeling of like safety, right? Because. I'm like high anxiety, so it's like a feeling of safety, good sex. Mm -hmm. um... Black. <laughs> what what gets your anxiety up? Like what 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 like drives it up? Oh God, in life. Like anything? It's debilitating. Yeah. yeah. Like like what what will like get your anxiety up? Like besides me asking you a question, what gets your anxiety? No, up? no, actually, I'm good with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, awesome. I'm good. I I feel like it's kind of random. You know, I think a lot of it is uh like like your body stores trauma like physically right so i feel like you experience like physical symptoms of anxiety not necessarily for like a trigger that is really like relevant or, like, okay. an it's, actual trigger it's just okay. kind of random it's probably come your body stores come <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be unlocked all right okay fair enough what about you see i know the game and i i think like a nigga. So if I tell you what I like, they're gonna be trying to jump in my DMs and pretend to be exactly what I say. Mm. So I'm not I'm not even gonna get you out of game. I like what I like and yeah. Leave it at that. It's funny because um <laughs> there's certain things I, I can't say because if I do, I'll give it the game too. So exactly. I understand that. But you can tell them though. No. <laughs> Let them know. Okay, what Shut about you? Um I like high value, high status, um, respectful and honest. That's really it. I mean, and good conversation. I like to laugh, so. Okay. Shout out to you. I'm assuming tall. Yes. Tall. From uh, <laughs> Casper. <Caswell. Africa. laughs> <laughs> relax, okay. relax. So we got some, some, some chats here, Chris. Uh, bring them real quick. Uh, yeah, it took me a second. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Back to the... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Back to the... <laughs> All right, we got... Um, <clears throat> Actually, it's going to take them because we have some no chats. Actually, no, we got a smash your pass, right? Yeah, we do. Cool. So, ladies. <laughs> We'll do a segment here on the show where we do smash or pass. Okay. So we'll bring it someone's Instagram page. Yep. Have you guys right take now. a look at it, right? No one scores it yet. But I'll say, hey, okay, ladies, smash or pass. And we'll go one by one. You say why you'll smash or why you'll pass. Cool. All right. So um, first one is uh, one second. There we go. And yo, guys, I'm telling you right now, man, <laughs> get the course. Because if this sucks, man, I'm on your ass. Pause. <laughs> Pause. All right. Here we go. Cool. And uh, ladies, put up one figure for uh, what smash or and, and two for pass. Yeah, we'll do um, one for smash, two for pass. Okay. Um, so don't don't say anything. 
We waiting. So we don't got... grunt. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> All right. Ready? No we facial got... expressions. K Kingston underscore. Um, this is Paige right here. Oh, my... Okay. All right, Myron, oh, yeah, yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is Paige right here. So um, one for smash and two for pass, ladies. All right. All right. Don't Get fuck it up. The yes or no. Don't grunt. Anything so, crazy. <laughs> come now. All right. This is Paige here. I'm quit. And that is it. Don't talk. Don't say shit. So wait. No yet. No yet. So okay. One for smash, two for pass. All right. So all right I got it. Okay, ladies, all of you, close your eyes right now. Oh, they're already. Yeah, it's a, it's already. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. So, right, damn it. it. We'll start here. All right. For you, smash or pass. That would be a pass. Why? Just because every single picture he looks exactly the same, and he's not even like, I don't know. He just looks like he's just trying to pose, literally. Like I don't see nothing kind of. Keep it on one because like it's he ain't not trying to have no fun. Okay, so okay. that's gonna fix this. Okay. Oh <laughs> shit, we have shit. Yeah, yeah, we ain't fucking around, man. We're the number one mess podcast in the fucking world for a reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm a so that's gonna I'm gonna fix this. So that's a pass. Yeah, that's a pass for me. What about you? Pass. Why? I wouldn't even open the DM. <laughs> I mean, okay. honestly, I wouldn't even open the DM. It, very it'll be in my, oh, it'll be in my right. request. Look, is it a follower? Is it a picture? It's like, what, um, what is it for you? Picture, follower, plus. Be brutal, ladies. Be honest. Like, honestly, why would you not, like, dude, keep her, these, this is men. Like, we don't give a fuck about feelings. Like, tell them exactly why you would not open or why you would not fuck. His swag this is a little off for me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, justice? Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Okay. I would. He's, he's cute. I fucked worse. <laughs> okay. So why would you uh, smash? I mean, honestly, like I've had some, you know, past decisions that were not. So that's really not bad. Trust Chris, me. could you bring a picture? Yeah, sure. Because well, you're so, like, uh, you gotta click his highlights. <laughs> it says me. You gotta watch the highlights. Girl, you would not. Depending it, on the you day. would not even open the DM. Depending on the Vicky. on the day. Mm. If it's a Wednesday. Ah, uh, the puppy. Wait. He got, he got them big lips. Okay, yeah, cute dog. He does have like, a he, he got good. two points extra. Okay, so Vicky, you'll smash. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, what about you? Okay, so physically, I think he's attractive, but I, I'm i like, I need a little more personality, a little more razzle-dazzle. I'm bored. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little weirdness. Yeah. Yes. All right. A little anxiety. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please, I no. need trauma. All right. <laughs> Miss Worldstar? It's a no for me. Trauma. Why? It's not me, dog. Chris, he, he honestly, Can you do the other angle? Because you're kind of blocking the uh, thing. Yeah, sure. Why? He look like he don't like women. And I feel... <laughs> oh, like, oh, 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 oh. I, You know, oh. I'm not... You know, but like he looks like he would let me dominate him. Like I could totally bend him over <gasps> on all fours covers. and thrust my tongue into it. And uh, give you the stick face, Rikishi style? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know how he came up with that, but okay. Right. Yeah, he hey. looks like he wants to be dominated. Okay. All right. Oh, Quanta, give him some advice. <laughs> what, what's like, what's wrong it. with it? What's wrong with his Instagram? First of all, he looked broke. Oh, okay. shit. Second of all, yeah, he go got ahead. like less than 500 followers and it don't look like he a lot. He has a lot of engagement Chris, with his back. page. He just looks like he just put him pictures up just to put him up. Like okay. that car probably ain't even his and it's a piece of shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> that car is probably not his either. Um, what gave I, you the vibe that he's broke? So he can... Uh. The swag. The the also, middle the car. picture in All the middle sweats. with that in that car. That actually looks like that might be his car, but the 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 white one's definitely not his car. <laughs> okay. So so taking a picture with 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 that with, car. With I hate when dudes take pictures with cars that are not theirs. It okay. makes you look so stupid. I'm sorry, I can't do it. What makes no, you no, think no, it's no. not his? But it might be his. Might be his. I mean, look at the other picture though. Why is he sitting in a different whip? No, but he don't got two cars. Look, I know look, that's bad. Okay. Read it. Uh, I'm the type I mean, of maybe that that's his new pray one. Pray and then go work for what I pray for. Okay. Maybe Aww. that's his I new like car. That. It's not that Aww. car. I love that. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, again, guys. This is just my opinion. This is what I see yeah, when yeah, I look at no, this no, page. No, 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 no. And I'm really glad you said that. And that's why, ladies, I'm going to probably dig a little bit when you guys, because women have a very terrible habit of just saying swag or, or vibe or some dumbass <laughs> ambiguous term. And men don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm going to have to push a little bit more. Like, what made you come to that conclusion so that the guys can actually learn? Because if you guys just say the vibe is off, Okay, explain to me how the vibe is off. So it's not to be offensive or anything like that, but I want y'all to actually like tell these no, guys fact. what the fuck is off. Wait. So just so you understand, and I want you guys in the <laughs> yeah. chat also to not be in your feelings because you guys are getting an inside track as to how the female mind works when they're looking at your Instagram. So right now, from what Destiny saw, it seems as if you don't have expendable income and it shows that, hey, are these cars yours? It doesn't show like you're not 
um, you're you're basically telegraphing that these vehicles may not potentially belong to you, which is important because remember, guys, they're not going to sit there and go through your pictures and give you the benefit of doubt. He might be a nice guy, whatever. Women don't operate like that. They look at it, no, nope, and they they move on. Simple. There's also no female comments under the pictures that Can I just, see. Yeah. Can we just read the caption real quick? Okay. Someone picture, just read bro. this caption. It says, "I'm the type of nigga that pray and then go work for what I pray for." <laughs> Hey, it sounds like good. <laughs> but okay. you know what? Let me be the devil's advocate for a second, though, on myself. Go ahead. Yes. You know what, though? Yeah. And especially here in Miami, you be looking at guys' pages, Rolls Royce, yeah, Bentley, Chain, da, 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 da. it's not even their shit. Yeah. They Thanks. broke. So you really can't even judge an Instagram page because I've seen like, oh, shit, he got the bag. He cute. Da, 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 da. And then in person, like, he don't even want to pay the Cheesecake Factory bill. Yeah. You know? So it's like, damn, like, you ain't got but, no money for real. And it's a lot of cap, yeah. especially in Miami. Like, Thanks. people be charging shit to their credit card. People getting these PPP loans and all this shit. <laughs> like, like, but let's be real here, though. You might respond to them for responding to him. Yeah. 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 So that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing is yeah. we want we want to get into your guys' mind and see what makes you respond to them or what makes you look at a profile differently. And I think it's very important for the guys to learn how the female psyche is when it goes to Instagram. And, and guys, perception is reality. You might own that mm -hmm. car, but it doesn't come off that yeah, way. The so I want, I want the men in the chat to understand that women's uh, women's imagination runs rampant. A lot of the times you got to be able to tame it with your picture so that you sell the narrative versus them coming up with a narrative for you. OK, yeah. So OK, we got right. another one. Yeah, we got another one. OK, so this is how we're going to do this. All right, ladies, we're going to go through a profile. Don't say anything. We're going to scroll through, maybe show you guys a couple of pictures. Then I'm going to have you guys close your eyes. And don't worry, I'm going to instruct you on each way of this, but I'm just letting you know how it is overall. I'm going to tell you, close your eyes, and you're going to hold this thing up with the thumbs up like this, okay? And then I'm going to count to three. With your eyes closed, you're going to flip it or keep it as is, okay? And then everyone in the chat will be able to see what you voted, okay? But you guys, I want you guys to keep your eyes closed so you don't see what the other girl picks because y'all <laughs> always go off what the other girls say. So, okay. All right. So what's the next one here? Yep. All right. So this is the next Instagram. Okay, so ladies, again, no yep. comments. We're going to pull it up. We're going to scroll through, maybe show you guys a couple of pictures, especially headshots so you get a facial. So, um, uh, okay, so yeah, keep it all on green right now. So actually, you know what? Yeah, because you're going to hold it up like this okay. on green. So keep it face down with the orange red. on top. Yeah, red up. Yep, red up, red up. There you go. Cool. All right. All right, so let's go through. Uh, Chris? Yep, hold on, hold on. Nigga eating peanut butter in the back. No, I found a scene. Hey, don't worry about it. Ready? Yep. I'll make a big. Enlarge on our end. Yep. Okay. Don't say anything, ladies. Wait, go to the very top. Okay, the bio. Travel of Lost 2021. Okay. Carlos Barn. Barn. About 1,200 followers, 357 following. Okay, let's cool. continue. Let's go through. No comments, no faces. Just look at the profile. We'll try to see if we can get a headshot here. Okay. No comments. Okay. Scroll down. Okay. All right. So, all right, ladies. Uh, Y'all got to look at it. So this is what we're going to do. So I want you to all close your eyes. Everyone close their eyes. Close their eyes. Close your eyes. Pick up your pad, your thing. Okay. I'm going to count to three. And you guys all know it's facing green right now. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Y y you too, Miss Mormon. It's all facing green right now. On three, I want you to either keep it as is or flip it if you're if you would not, if you would pass. So if you would pass, flip it. If you would smash, keep it as is. I'm gonna count to three, okay? One, two, three, throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Okay. Got we that. got universal passes. Okay, that's a big so let's go around the table and tell us why you passed. Uh we'll start here with uh we started with you first last time, right? I guess so. Okay, so we'll go quantum. Why'd you why'd you pass him on this? I think he's doing a lot of things right, but he's just not attractive to me. I don't find him attractive. He needs to just get himself in Tell shape. him why is he not attractive. Okay. He's a little overweight for me. Thank you. All right. What about you? He looks very young. Scroll and up to like the top, Chris. He's still trying to figure out life a little bit. Like, he's he's doing a lot, but not a lot at the same time. And he just, like, I, like, I can't do nothing with that. You can't do nothing with this. <laughs> like I'm so it's just okay. like, it's not gonna work, babe. Sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. I really didn't want to pass him because I'm usually like pride myself in going for the nice guy. Um, like she said, he's doing a lot of things right. Seems like he owns properties. Like, Is your boyfriend investing. right now a nice guy? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You friends owned him first? No. Okay. So he wasn't. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a um, thing. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's different, but yeah. Um 
he, he is like I said, doing a lot of things right. Seems like he owns property. Seems like he's got his like little. Tell us why together. you said no, though. Just not. You're not critiquing a woman here. Critiquing a man. Be brutal. Not why'd you say no? I'm not physically attracted. To that also. Okay. Okay. Why are you not physically attracted? Um, I think a lot of it was just like the facial expressions, honestly. Okay. It does it have to do with the size as well. No, I I love a big boy. Okay. You don't you don't mind for a little bit of pudge? Okay. Mm -mm. What about you? Why'd you say no? Shut the mo. I don't know. I just feel like it's like any man that has to do the most on Instagram is just to me, it's corny. Sorry. Like, when you say the most, as in what do you mean? Like, you really have to post. Like, I feel like it looks like one of those Instagrams where it's like they're purposely posting like everywhere they go, or any like any like designer items or like any like lavish kind of like lifestyle pictures so that like women like are like attracted. But don't you like metrosexual men? But, but no, but listen, personally, <laughs> personally, I feel like the men that, like, <laughs> the, men, the men that flex the most on Instagram be like the ones that really don't have it. But, and honestly, not, man, I'm not my type, not physically attracted. But, okay. Well, like, why, like, what, what did you not like about the physicality? Yeah, you know, like, it's just, um, you fat? I don't want to say fat, but just, I mean, talk listen, about a guy, we don't go fuck. He's I fat. mean, a little, a little, a little overweight, but I mean, listen, I don't okay. mind too. I love a little type. They, listen, can, we say we said earlier. I don't know. Can yeah, we, go can ahead, we you say freaking things? Okay. Fat boys eat pussy the best. We were talking about yeah. this earlier. They oh, eat fat men eat the best wait, pussy. Wait, 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 I don't wait, discriminate. Wait, Mo, um confirm. <laughs> 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 oh, Oh my god. Yeah, I guess it'd be in box. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, anything else you want to add on there? Why what no? Mm -mm, okay. No. What about you? Why'd you say no? Um, I just am not into like Caucasian men. Okay. Okay. Real shit. That's the that's first. You dabble in the dark only. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And I like that he he's well traveled though, because that's my favorite thing to do. But I just wouldn't respond to video. I mean, unless he's talking about some cha chang cha chang. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm just taking. But um, no, I'm just not attracted to him. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Me personally, I've dealt with chunky boys. I love Penis. chunky boys, <laughs> but like they like she said, chunky boys eat pussy the best, honestly. But I personally think about long term, and I can't be with anyone that's unhealthy because I like to handle my shit so i'm just thinking you're going to be conflicting with my lifestyle if i fuck with you for too long okay uh fresh what's your take okay so uh in this case bro i would say great pictures for lifestyle however obviously speaking uh pause but your face isn't the most um appealing so i can see why ladies are turned off instantly dope backdrops dope um you know uh lifestyle pictures but your image is probably going to be a side profile or you not looking truck in the camera. Don't take pictures with your tall friends, guys. Yeah. This one is not too bad. And then, and, then, and then secondly, for you, bro, I hate, I hate to say it, but money's going to be your angle. Because, like, you having a certain lifestyle, you being a certain level, and they can see that, might over, overwrite the looks, if, if you get what I'm saying. So, hey, man, it's what it is. And also get, get your followers up, up, up as well. So yeah, your humor is gonna save you. Um, <laughs> you're fat as fuck, bro. You need to lose weight. You're fat as fuck. Like, uh, l listen. I mean, the only the only people that get by with being a little chunky or whatever are women. Men don't, bro. Like, you you can't be fat. It's unfucking fucking acceptable. Thing. So, like, and they'll sit here, bro, and they'll fucking lie to you and say, "Oh, I don't mind a guy a little chubby." No, bro. Fuck out of here. Y'all just being nice. No, they, they, look, I most... love the belly. Yeah, I do love me a good. What belly. if they got money though? I'm that's the only the way they will accept I, it. I, I that's really the, that's the only way. With money. Yo, well. you, you, so like that's why I first said if you want to stay fat, you're gonna have to play the money angle. But my thing is this, bro. You're cutting yourself off to a large, a, a large demographic of women when you're fat and you have money. Because what you could do is get in shape and have money, and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a wider range of women that's that are true. gonna like you. So why be yeah. fat? There's there's no need. I went on saying it's spend money. We're I saying so dangle the carrot. Yeah. So it looks like you have the money. Yes. But you're not gonna spend the money on them. Yes. But he doesn't look fat. <laughs> I feel so biased because I have a personal story that happened to me where like my ex passed away because he had heart problems, and that's the only reason I would never date a guy that was overweight anymore. Damn. Yeah. So like, proves the point, kind of like, like that's a personal yeah, take Come on. Body. Yeah. Eric, you just you just put your your Instagram. This nigga's in a room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to him, man. Go, yo, who's next? Oh who's next? Who's next? <laughs> go, go, go. Who's I'll next? be ready to get roasted then. He's yeah. live in the yeah. studio. If so it's bad, we, we go. We go. Let's do it, man. Who's next? Okay. Okay. Go, uh, oh is there? No, that's, that's somebody else. All right, cool. Uh, don't worry. He, he's next. Okay, he's next. Okay, cool. All right. All right. 
Devi Saldana. By the way, guys, I switched my shirt. I got the Ninja Watcher shirt on. Like the fucking video. We got 7,000 y'all in here. Hey. Like the goddamn video. Shirts and stores right now. Freshshippodcaststore.com. Love. Also, DMs on demand is live. Get DMs on demand.com. Get DMs on demand.com. And you guys are going to get a way more um, detailed breakdown of where you're fucking up. But okay, let's. So, ladies, same exact rules. We're going to show you that profile. Don't say nothing. Don't make no faces. I don't want you guys to influence each other. I want to keep it objective here. Okay. So, um, and again, turn it over to where it's on. Oh, green, green. Yep. So red, red face down. Exactly. Perfect. And then, yeah, red, red up, red up. All right. So we're going to scroll down. Go ahead, Chris. Okay. Can you go up to the top first? Yeah. Talk to show the bottom. Top. They okay. I want to know how many followers. Mr. Okay. Mr. Dot Serenity underscore. Okay. So let's go down now. All right. All right. Okay. That's, that's it. it. Let's see if we can get that one with the face. Okay. Yeah. That one. Okay. I think I he's one, on the, the right. last picture as well. Which one please. is he? Yeah, there's one on the right. See, they love to put the pictures with multiple people as their first pick. Hey, 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 hey. Like no opinion. Hey, hey, just, just, you, you'll be able to give your critiques after. All right, so, uh, ladies, close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. Pick up your thing. Close your eyes and pick up your thing. It's on green right now. Pick it up, pick it up. You too, Miss Green. Miss Candy Store, pick it up. Okay, yeah, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, on three, either flip it or. Keep it. At, if you want to say no, flip it. If you want to keep it as is, just keep it the same. So one, two, three. Go ahead. Give us your decision. Okay. We got three. It's half and half. All right. Cool. So we're going to go with the girls that said smash. So we'll start here. Why did you Why did you say yes? I have an addiction to people that are in the military. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I will be honest. That's okay. fair. <laughs> addiction. Get it? Why do you say yes? The same reason military guys are like really, really big freaks. Always, okay. Don't have okay. A lot of time. And then who else had a green? I was like this because I was like yes, but then no, he's There's toxic. No maybes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No maybes. I was like, okay. Give us both sides. Why do you? Why do? You, why do? Why do you say yes and then why do you say no? I would say yes one for the military because he's that means he has somewhat stability but then there's some military people that are very irresponsible at the same time. Okay. Um, he looks like he likes to have fun. He has a great smile. Um. I so mean, smash or pass? It's like a 50-50. He yeah. can feed you though. Like, you know, he has, he has money for food and everything. I know. I cook. It's fine. Oh, you cook? Okay. Yeah. I tried. Mm, uh, you know. oh, I'm trying to help you. Okay, so what is the negative then? The negative, Can't put your finger on it, no? The negative is, is mainly the military because they're very toxic. <laughs> They oh. are very toxic because oh. I've dated military men and... But this is just a smash though. All right, you, you uh, yeah, yeah, right, there you go. That's the right. answer. Uh, Destiny, why'd you say no? Um, okay, so I actually think this profile is great. The only reason I said no is because for me, in my opinion, if you have a successful business, this isn't true for everyone. Um, I believe that your social platform should have a certain, you know, amount of followers just to, you know, that's it's a social networking um device or place. And it's very important for business. So that would be my only downfall I see on this page. Okay. The social proof wasn't there for you with the following and everything. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah, I said pass. I mean, the, yeah, the social profile is cute. You know, he looks cute. He has a nice smile. But again, just not my type. And honestly... Why is he not your type? The military men. I okay. have dated someone in the military and that was just... <laughs> Okay, so military was automatic disqualified. Yes, for you. I can't. Okay. And they also leave a lot too. Like if they go and leave, so it's like why even like? What fucking... if he's reserves and he's not no longer in it, or or he just drills once a month? But then they got PTSD, and then they want to <gasps> always like they want to take it to the gym. Not not, no, 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 not that PTSD. Like that listen, room? not oh, God. a lot of trauma. I mean, we all got trauma. But anyway, I'm talking about like the trauma. You know, when they want to go to the gym and like they want to always like do things on like a schedule i'm very like disorganized so it just it wouldn't work okay so a guy that's regimented is unattractive to you okay respectfully all right yeah. <laughs> i like that. Also don't make a lot of money and you I, I i mean here's the thing ladies any guy that's a high earner is going to be extremely regimented oh no i learned that like that's long just ago. yeah like, like that's just how it goes i don't know i don't see men that make a lot of money and they don't they're very <laughs> disorganized yeah. who, who you know that makes a lot of money that's not organized to Crypto guys it's either gonna yeah, it's either Cryptos, gonna be scammers or scammers, yeah. crypto Drug guys, dealers. or yeah. Why crypto guy? They're like crypto guys are organized. Crypto. Well, it depends. If it's like a young dude that just came and got his money, a lot of times they'll be disorganized. Yeah, they're just throwing but, shit in the air, hoping for the best. But but most guys that are like earn their money that aren't trust fund babies or didn't get their money quickly through some some scamming or some bullshit, like they're gonna be regimented to a degree. Yeah. 
Like, they have to have a schedule just so that they can have What kind of guys have you been things? hanging out with? Yeah. For real. That's straight know. luck. That's gambling at that point. <laughs> Don't if, you, if, you, if you make the spread with that. She does some criminals or something. Oh, okay. We got quite a few uh, submissions, so let's let's go through yeah. these. Yeah. Uh, so. We might have to, yeah, this is, uh, we might have to increase it. Uh, that's that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um. I just, if we're just going off Instagram, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't even open the DM based right. off the followers. It would be my requests, which I don't even really go through. Mm -hmm. Um, But if I was to see him in person, no. Maybe? No. no, I just, he's not my type. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I was like, what do you mean? Uh, for me, I, like, oh no, you said yes, right? Yeah, I was like answering cool. my, I was like answering right. my question. <laughs> Next one, Chris. I like, so uh, I would just say uh, regarding this um, profile here, um, not bad with the um pictures. Just that, like, like I said earlier, regarding your brand image, you should be in all pictures on some level. This picture with the city is cool and all, but that should be a story. Um, and then the one with the green statue is cool. Should be a highlight or a story. Um, but bro, you need shots of you only with a good backdrop. Either like yeah, with, with uh, art, art, maybe with a pool, maybe even a beach. But like, you have to be the main focus because, dude, most people don't know who you are. Yeah. Let's look for it, and then, guess what? Most girls will look at it. Eh, I don't know who he is. I'm out. So before you even get there, maybe have some good pictures of yourself. Nice backdrop and get get your followers up as well. Definitely. These pictures are fucking garbage. You need yeah, to get a professional <laughs> photographer, bro. Yeah, there's yeah. some big like, downfalls for a lot of guys. Like guys, that. this is non-negotiable. Like you have to get a professional photographer. Like that's non-negotiable. Like if you want to have an aesthetic Instagram, you have to. Well, even then. So, um, yeah, get a professional photographer, man. That that's that's uh, like that's it's required at this point. Cool. Uh, all right. Cool. All right. Uh, the, 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 how, how many? How many answer, uh, profiles do we have total, Chris? Uh, about. Let's, let's cap it here because how many do we have? Uh, we got three more. Three more. Okay. All right. That's it. Yeah, we're, I was gonna cap it right there, guys. Cool. Uh, because we got another video, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Davis in the in building. Guys, get D get DMs on demand dot com, man. Get DMs on demand dot com. All right. And uh, ladies, just because he's in the studio, don't mean shit. Oh, he's brutal. He's he's right right here. I literally made eye contact with him when yeah. they said it. So, I was like, oh, no, shit. No, be as brutal as you need to be. I <laughs> hope your feelings are ready, Put bro. Put a camera on Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. he's 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 in here. Yo, so, Eric, by the way, brother, right? Just so you know, no hard feelings. Yeah. yeah no hard feelings. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, guys. So let's, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. We're going to show it, right? And ladies, don't make any comments. Same thing. Uh, red, right up top. Red right up top, Miss Mormon. You good? Yeah, yeah, right up top. There you go. So when you hold it up, it's green, and then you just flip it. Okay, so we're gonna scroll through here. So let's go. Go ahead, Chris. Okay, keep going. All right. Cool. All right. So scroll up. All right. So ladies, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go ahead <clears throat> and uh, okay. So all of you, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Mormon, close your eyes. Close your okay. Eyes, sorry. Uh hold the sign up. You two miss candy store candy store. Okay. <laughs> so um on three, I want you guys to flip it and or keep it wherever it's at. One, two, three. Okay. We got two smashes, four passes. All right, cool. So um we're gonna start with uh with you. Why'd you say oh what? Oh I'm I meant this one. I'm sorry. My eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> so why'd you say why'd you, why'd you say smash just because his, his pictures are actually like well put together okay. he put some thought into it he okay. actually gives a fuck about his presentation so if we were to roll out somewhere he's not gonna show out looking fucking crazy okay okay that's my main that's fair concern. so good photos yeah so good optics right. yeah good optics i'm visually Attracted to it's, it. Yeah, visually aesthetic. With some swag. Cool. Yeah, okay. Why'd it. you say no? Um, Give it to him raw. He's here. Tell him <laughs> to his face. He he black. Honestly, you have Look a great Instagram face. presence. Like your pictures are fire, you know, and everything. I just, you know, you heard me loud and clear. I like he ain't black enough. I like my man dark. Okay. It. I like that's dark. all that's all it is. Some chicken with some season. <laughs> What's your name? He just looks like the guys I went to high school with, and that also just gives me PTSD. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like people are like saying that with the PTSD. I didn't mean it that way at yeah. all. I think people took it wrong. Okay. What about you? Uh, so you can't be regimented guys and you you can't, yeah, look like you went to high school there. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. I think I, I might have been a little petty for this one. I love the photos. I would like trust him to take my pictures, which <laughs> in my industry, 
that's like a big bonus. But then I started reading the captions. Did you all read those? Oh, no. oh shit. Dangerous. Oh, Let's go. Oh, Open those back say? up. Chris, uh, bring up, up bigger. Yep, sure. The game, not the player. Had the game of the player. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, no. Yes. oh, no. Oh, man. I might retract oh, my no. statement. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, the too many. Very hashtags. cute though. Peace will kill my vibe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Peace will kill. Okay. Beach don't kill my vibe. I mean, as expert beach. with hashtags. <laughs> All right. God damn. All I right. said oh. beach don't kill my vibe. <laughs> so why'd you say? Why'd you say no? No, uh, you. Yeah, okay. your turn. Yep. I said no because I just I don't do salmonella. Oh, oh. Like, she I said uncooked. Food. No white guys. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> but like also, <laughs> and also he doesn't. There's not one picture on his Instagram where he's smiling. It's like giving me. Let me see them teeth, boy. Yeah. It's like I don't know what's going on. Are you, you teeth, boy? You might not have Sad any. Boy. Are you like? Ah, no, yeah. let me see the teeth, boy. He's not Fair smiling enough. in that one picture. Okay. That one picture. Valid critique. Okay. okay. That's the why you say no. I saw the mustache. I don't like it. Okay. I, he's just like, not attractive it. to me. His Instagram looks good, but um, yeah, just not attractive to me. Um, this is a perfect example, guys. Where um, uh, this this proves my point. I always say this shit. When women look at your Instagram profiles or your dating profile, they're looking to disqualify you. They're not yeah. looking to mm. qualify you. They're That's looking fair. to to disqualify <laughs> you. Versus what men men typically look at dating profiles, Instagrams to qualify a girl. They'll look at her best pic like, oh, you know, she's kind of big, but you know what? Her ass looks fat here. Okay, I'll do it. Women, it's the opposite. Oh, okay, this is all good. This is all good. And then it can be something small like a mustache or it can be um, a, a caption or, or whatever. not smiling. Or, yeah, and they'll disqualify you, bro. So that goes to show the differences between men and women when we're looking at dating profiles. So keep in mind, guys, you always want to put your best pictures up. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes oh, yeah. captions need to be written in a certain way. And um, yeah, okay. Yo, imagine... You're judged by your caption. That's crazy. No, no, no. That's why you The guys in the chat need to know the shit. Yeah. Some of y'all, I see some of y'all are like fucking uh, mad, like, oh, what the fuck? But not. Guys, this is how girls disqualify men. This but, is the reality. But they won't tell you, though. They won't tell you this shit. They just want to so, so be thankful that y'all are hearing it from them real time. I got to, I don't know if you guys noticed, I got to pry it out of them a little bit. You know, because if I let them say what they want to say, they're like, oh, no, really cute pictures, whatever. And they won't say anything negative because <laughs> that's just how women are. But um, so, Eric, you want to you yeah, want uh, uh, to say this? true, false? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you guys being honest because most girls aren't out here. So there you go. I appreciate yeah. it. There you go. You. And just because I'm not, you know, black. You can tan, bro. You can tan. We can see where you at. It's summer's coming up. Yeah. When you did those interviews in Arizona, right? Of course. I know you heard it all the time. You're not my type. Oh yeah. How do how do you react? Because you obviously speaking, you weren't black with, with, with your co-host Juju. But how do you respond to that? Like I think about it like this, right? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Mm, whether yeah. you're black, white, you know, Mexican, whatever. Like there's gonna be someone out there for you. Yeah. Whether it be like whether you're rich or poor, or you're coming up or you're not. Like there's gonna be someone for you. You just gotta find that. And whether you want like a good girl or someone like more scandalous or whatever. Like, you just got to find... My niggas is scandalous. And, and I will say this, statistically <laughs> speaking, statistically speaking, Wait, most see. women prefer uh, Caucasian men. Yeah, yeah. So, statistically speaking, as a white guy, well, you, you well, actually, most girls are going to find you attractive. With the culture and with Kanye West, I think he kind of shifted it, though. Yeah, I agree. I'm not going to lie. No, it's, it's still... You guys got to remember, like, once you leave Miami, <laughs> y'all got to get the fuck out of Miami. Like, you go anywhere else, like, like statistically speaking, white men are the most preferred race. Mm, that's a fact I, I, in my personal experience oh. i lived in out of state and some other places so what i will say is like a lot of people that even as they come here <laughs> they assume getting wealthy and making it in america is dating someone white whether it's male or female mm. so that's their mm. level of success like oh i'm gonna date a black girl and then i i'm here but if i date a light-skinned girl i'm i'm doing better and if i date someone white I'm doing the best. Okay, I get what you're saying. You're saying skin color yeah. typically is, yeah. is, is sometimes associated to well incorrectly or wrongly yeah. to, to, uh, to come income. from out of state and out of country. I've yeah. noticed personally. Okay. I'm not saying all across the board, but personally, that's what I've noticed. Right. Once okay. they get here, they're yeah. like American dream. When I make it, I'll be with someone. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just here in Miami, bro. But like you go other places in the United States, bro. Like, like think about it. The United States is mostly Caucasian. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and, mo and most white women way, do yeah. prefer yeah. Caucasian men. I see what yeah. you're saying. Mm -hmm. They'll dabble outside every now and then. But like if you give them a choice, the preference is white men most of the time. Yeah. So, hey, man. Yeah. Shout out to all my, my all my brads out there. Yeah. yeah white boy music, good, man. My brads. Yeah, good, man. Right. So, uh, so, yeah. Next. All right. Let's go with... Uh, Someone saying colors and BS. <laughs> Niggas always be in their feelings, bro. What the fuck? All right. He oh, paid shit. the bucks. All right. I'll plug this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I want him 
Summers. Uh, wow. Oh my this God. is a troll oh, account. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a troll right. account. Wait, wait, come, come now, Chris. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're just here supporting her daddy. Come now. No, he's not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so weird. This is so old. Can't even walk. I'm in timeout. Captured the animal. What the fuck? I'm not sure what the thing is. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Ladies, don't be calm, please, ladies. All right, ladies, focus. Ready? Next. All right. Let's All right, next one. Yeah, Chris is going to be enjoying this. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Ladies, quality time, you know, dad, you know. Next. <laughs> ladies, no more dad, ladies. So make sure, you know, if they didn't say go dad. No. All right, next. I'm dead right now. My dog are rock, rock, uh, rocking the beats. Shout out to that. <laughs> 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 All right, lady. And last one, I think. Oh, no, actually. All right. So, uh, and, uh, here we go. In Miami. Yeah, All right, ladies. So, uh, uh, panels up, ladies. Ready? Yeah. All right. Ready, ladies? Actually. All right. One, two, Just three. Just give it a thumbs down. Just give it a thumbs down, ladies. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Pull some, no, no, this is. I was like, watch this yourself. Yeah, niggas, man. I hate all of you. <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, so Casey, let, me give the, let me give the background on this. Uh, guys, so what happened is this girl came out and accused me of getting her pregnant. So ever since then, these fucking guys have not let up. It's been almost a goddamn year. And the niggas won't let me breathe. So they keep uh, they keep going with this. No, so. I get it too, man. I'm not the dad. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. All right. Let's move on to Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, shout out to McQueen, McQueen White Power. White Power. Uh, yo, guys, yo, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to our boy uh, McQueen, McQueen on on uh, on YouTube. It's uh, his, wait, he he switched his is channel. He, is he at a, at a million yet? I don't know. Yo, bro, are you a, a miller or no? Yeah, he has McQueen and then he has Watch It with McQueen. Yeah, subscribe to both channels, guys. Check, yo, check him out, man. He does funny ass reactions. He's almost at a million. He needs fifty k more south, basically. Yeah, man. McQueen is his main channel. And then he posts a lot on his Watch It with McQueen. McQueen. Yeah. So yeah. check him out, guys. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's our, he does our homie right there. He does reactions. Hilarious reactions. Uh, okay, so we got this one right here. All right, um, that's all two. This is the last two? Yep. Okay, and then for this, uh, guys, uh, so thank you so much for the, the things with the, um, you know, the um, Smasher Pass. I think the guys are learning a lot here. Uh, guys, so <laughs> once again, get deals on the man, though. Yeah. Um, okay, yep, ladies, so same thing, it. same rule. Uh, put, put it face down, up, red, exactly. So when you pick it up, you already know it's green. Okay. Uh, all right, so go ahead. Um, Chris, can we enlarge it on our end? Yes, yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got here uh, Fashion Nico. All right, all right ladies. So same exact thing. We're going to scroll down. Don't say anything. Okay, I don't want you to influence each Thanks. other. Um, all right, y'all ready? Okay, let's go ahead. Keep scrolling, Chris. When I walk in. Okay. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> let's try to get uh, scroll up a little bit. Let's see if we get that headshot maybe from the graduation or that one right there with the suit mm -hmm. right there. Yep. So the ladies get a headshot, okay? All right. No, scroll yeah. back up. Oh. Ladies, ladies, no comments. Okay. All right. And TBT, the time, time I got my second master's from the University of Alabama, it was fun and challenging time for me. It was a little stressful, but I believed in him, and he saw me through it. Uh, I can do all things Christ who strengthens me. Okay, cool. So ladies, all right, Chris, go uh, exit that. Chris. Yeah. Okay, scroll up to the top. <laughs> 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 okay. What's, what's funny, nigga? Okay. All right. So, ladies. All right. Close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes, and then close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Everybody, hold up your paddleboard. Hold it up in green, facing green, facing green. How you had it? Yep. Okay. On three, I want you guys to go ahead and either keep it or flip it. One, two, three. three. Okay. Cool. We got five passes. One smash. One smash. Why do you say smash? I said, I love me a good Christian man. Yes. I feel like it's good for the soul. <laughs> yes, baby. The girl that's eating ass. Okay, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. um, and, and so just because of the religion, nothing else? Any 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 negatives that you could think of? Um, The swag is a little off. I'm not going to lie. Like The, the okay. shirt is a little... Mm, I don't know what's doing there. Let's just... can, can you tell us how it's, it's the, off? The vibrant colors are just okay. it's a little Is it too much. pink? Too much pink? Yeah. It's too loud? Mm -hmm. A little too loud? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so okay. we'll start um, here. Why'd you say pass? I am the exact In the mic, in the mic. 
I'm the exact opposite. Anyone who's extremely in the Jesus freak side of my world, I'm not a fan. Okay. Okay. So she worships the devil. Does make sense? Oh. <laughs> I practice witchcraft. Wait, was that? Wait, what? Was that the sound effect? What? Go ahead. Who did that? <laughs> oh, that was Chris. That was Chris? <laughs> no, uh, it wasn't me. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> He's All right. Why'd you say fast? Um, his swag is just like the way he dresses is just screaming. Para jungle. It's just screaming corny. Okay, okay, corny. I was gonna say for the other. You think maybe other, for the other for team? The other team. Yeah, I'm just not. Uh-uh. Sugar in his tank. I actually don't think he's gay. I think he's like okay. it's giving Fashion. like. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's giving like Haitian Jamaican like scammer <laughs> vibes. <laughs> Shout out fresh scammer yeah. vibes. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. All right. Shouting, screaming. Oh, no. Um, I really the two masters degree is good. He looks like somebody's uncle. No, for sure. Unc- okay. Yeah, he's giving uncle. I'm just okay. not into it. Okay. He just gives me creep vibes a little bit. Like I don't. I just I can't put my finger on, but it's just like I could see him doing like weird shit. What the fuck? Like no, like like go back up to there is. Where's that picture? Yeah, what picture did it for you that made you think that? Hold on. <laughs> Shit, all of them at this point. <laughs> no, but <laughs> no, like he he doesn't dress that bad, but some of the off the outfits are a little off. Like that's creep. Like look at his eyes. <laughs> look what the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Like that's like come on. Like that <laughs> is cozy all right what is it destiny yeah uh it's a little bit everything it's just i i just still find him attractive that smile's a little creepy and his swag is just not my style it's a little off okay Okay. So I would just say, um, go back up. Yep. <laughs> so the followers, excellent job. Um, the following, excellent job. The bio, really good. Picture for profile, nah, bro. You need like a, fa- a face shot. Even the guy, yeah, the, even that would have been a little bit better. But um, you should you show your show your face. I have a a, a closer up uh, shot for your profile picture. Regarding your actual pictures yourself in the post, they're not bad. Good backdrops, but bro, your posing is terrible. Like I don't know if you're. <laughs> Do this on purpose or the, when you're walking, but like, dude, it looks like you're, like you're leaning forward. It looks, it looks weird. Wait, Chris, that's the wrong profile. No, that's what no, 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 no. Attack, there. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. Look. And Girl, then, see it. Yeah. Same and then, and then, <laughs> with the fashion, I get what you're doing because this is probably like your, you know, your hobby or your, um, you know, uh, pastime. But at the same time, bro, the fashion, bro, it's a little bit too, too, uh, like Jamaican vibes. It's, it's like it's too loud. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so he looks like he's I, hiding. Something. I would limit the amount of colorful things you post and keep like a more like bland look on your personal page your fashion page post whatever that tan jacket is nice yeah ready for yeah that's a good something outfit. like yeah that's good not as colorful because bro, people might think you're funny or they might think like hey this nigga's trying too hard so <laughs> keep it chill that, sure. that's all i would say yeah um cool yeah the, the the strange poses bro you standing by yourself you don't have any social proof no one knows what the fuck you do for work you got two master's degrees but what do you do for work right you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so if, yeah. if you're going to go to school and be educated, you need to be able to show something for that work. So no one knows what the hell you do. As far as they're concerned, like you might just be a dude with a master's degree that dresses up in, in random force. Like what's going on here? <laughs> so that's that's kind of an issue. Yeah, here this too. Like could be my fucking uncle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and now they're two uncle. guys like, I don't know why. Yo, y'all got to understand that. Like you want to limit pictures with you on sunglasses, man. Yeah. Girl, you need to show your eyes. Pause. Um, That's very important for girls. So and, and smile as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, what else we got here? Let's, no, we're done. Some, we're done? Chats, All right, cool. Yeah, because uh, the other one is on... Uh, the... It's a troll? Yeah. It's a troll again? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you guys like sending a troll po- profiles, man? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, um, one second. There you go. Let me stop sharing. Uh, what are we doing? Going back to the Super Chats? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Let's play the second video. Um, No? Second video. Okay. Let's play so, ladies, just a real quick question. You've dated somebody in the past, maybe a boyfriend currently now. How do you do an argument? And, for example, let's say you're your boyfriend today. You're in the house. You guys argue about maybe, like, I don't know, money or him doing dumb, some dumb shit or you, you, you doing some, some dumb shit. How do you make up to him when you argue? And we'll start right oh, now. Oh, shit. Let me... 
Wait, how do you make up? Yeah, so how do you make up? So you argue with your boyfriend, you leave home, you come back home, you, you get to talking. How do you make up with him? Uh... <laughs> Assuming she's at fault, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Yeah. I mean, okay. Me... Okay, Let... articulate. Let's say that because the video talks about okay let's say it's um a mutual misunderstanding mutual okay um i would start by having some kind of conversation come to like a conclusion and then um i would do something for him to make it up to him and now let, let's say it's your fault yeah i would definitely do do a few things to make it up to him like, like <laughs> too fresh. Uh, just some things. Whatever he wanted. Maybe okay. it could be a sexual favor. It could be running to the store. Whatever he had asked me cool. to do. All right. What about you? I would allow him to speak his point on the argument, and then I would speak my point and how I feel. We have to be able to really listen to each other. But like. Sometimes my patience is so sharp, like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going back and forth with you. And what um, if you messed up? If I messed up, I'm like, yo, yeah, like, I fucked up. Like, I apologize. <laughs> you know, but I'm I'm like, mm, What would you do, though? Like, to make up. To make up to your nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. <laughs> it depends. You know, like sometimes it's as simple as just cooking a meal or okay. just putting phones away and watching Netflix. That's that's fair. Simple. What about you? I have been known to start a fight just to have makeup sex. <laughs> it's the yeah. best. Yeah, it is. Um, but <laughs> I mean, no, usually calm, so. it's I'll be like, "Can you roll up?" Because I want to smoke. Can you roll up? Yeah, so I can. I'm actually really well, but I'm lazy. So yeah. so Shop. you start the argument, and then. <laughs> It's your fault, and you make him roll up. We. It's yeah. just like we won't talk, and that's like the thing that will always finally like break the silence, you know. Or like, are you hungry? It's like that same type. Of... So I get it. So he smoke. Y'all smoke. Do you ask him if he's hungry or the other way around? Usually me, because he doesn't cook. Okay, right? and then what do you do when he says yes? I am. I'll cook something. You'll cook something for him. So okay. I, I get it. She makes the argument. Will be seasoned chicken. Yes, I Mormons can cook. Okay. Oh, they can? Right. Yeah, they actually can. With okay. spicy casserole their ass off. So no, so no, I get it. So you start an argument, you come home, you guys have silence, you smoke weed, and then you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> How do you start the argument for the guys out there so they can learn that might be in a relationship with their girl? Oh god, yeah. can you anything? Role play. Role <laughs> give play. Us, give oh, an example. Like, well, yeah. well, how you start give us a common tactic. This is for the guys out there to learn. You do you live with your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. That's the first mistake. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh how do you start how would you start a fight? How would you manufacture it? Oh Lord. I have to be honest, by the way. Guys can learn from this. Um, we could be like fighting over like someone's something said on TV that we like disagree on. It could be like something super petty. If I'm picking a fight, picking a fight. Oh, you haven't done this in so long. Why not? <laughs> da, 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 you know. Okay. Like, what would that be? Like flowers. Okay. Um, we haven't gone on a date. Like, why don't you okay. like me? You know. And then, <laughs> playing devil's advocate here, what if he just like looked at you, laughed, and left the room? How'd that make you feel? Okay. Oh, Niggas do that. There you go. No. <laughs> I would also. Do you be surprised? I don't know. Like... Because does he argue back with you when you when you say, "Hey, you haven't done this in a while." He'll like talk to you and. Yeah, I'll get silent treatment sometimes. Oh, okay. Sometimes, yeah. If okay. he's like not like sometimes he'll entertain me, you know, but sometimes he he won't entertain it. He'll just like look at you and walk away. He's not rude about it. He's never rude to me, but he'll just just not talk to me. And okay. different. And then what do you do when he doesn't talk to you? Um, ignore him back, and then it's kind of like a battle of wills. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, then who, and then who folds more uh, more often? Oh God, I, I would say about fifty-fifty. Okay, okay. Yeah. So he reinitiates sometimes, and you reinitiate sometimes. Yeah, whoever's horny. <laughs> who uh, pay the bills? <laughs> who pays the bills? He pays most of the bills. Okay, yeah, he won. I help okay. a little bit. Okay, so um, so when he reinitiates, like he'll, he'll whatever. Um, do you do you uh, what who's what? When's the sex better? When he reinitiates or when you reinitiate? Well, obviously, I think it's better if he reinitiates, but he will probably say the opposite. We okay. all want to be pursued, right? Men and women. So. Okay. Vicky, what about you? Okay, before I answer this question, I have to say one thing. Go ahead. Respectfully, I 
I feel bad about like I didn't want to feel like I, I was discriminating against any military men. I love my military men. Just, I couldn't be in a relationship <laughs> with them. And that's all. That's okay. all I had to say. I had to get off my chest. That's fine. No okay. Problem. But um, in a relationship, sometimes I am the toxic one. So this is a difficult um, <laughs> answer. Uh, I mean, first seems like you know, just I apologize. I'm sorry, baby. I won't do it again. <laughs> Then you know we pull you know pull the pants down. Come on, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it works every time. Okay, I'm gonna tell you I won't cheat again. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! I won't cheat again. Extreme. She's and a toxic it? queen. She is a toxic <laughs> For sure. queen. Yeah. All right, so guys, this is what you do, man. Uh, I just had to say this. So <laughs> it, when you when you're you and your girl are having like a battle or some shit like that, and you know you guys aren't talking to each other, don't be the one to reinitiate it, bro. Like keep ignoring her because a woman's currency is attention. So when you ignore girls, it's actually very powerful. <laughs> so I don't know if your boyfriend's going to do that now, but yeah, it just so continue to ignore her. This. And then for you, as far as like you, you, you'll like he'll let you suck his dick after you cheat on him. Yeah, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then y'all like it goes back like everything is good. Yeah, but then he'll be like, mm, go get tested. Wow. <laughs> Yo, your right. man is what? sick, bro. <laughs> Yo, if you cheat, well, no, she's single yes. now. No, no she, she's not. It's complicated. Oh. She just heard it. Bro, if you cheat, you're done, bro. Yeah. I mean, You're but dead. okay, okay, but we also, it's also a relationship where, like, okay, we also have, like, threesomes, and, like, he could also, we fuck bitches on and off camera together, so. I yeah, mean, but if he fucks a bitch, it's not you, like, it's not I wouldn't get mad if he, if he cheated a bitch. I told him, record it and let me watch it. Yeah, but, what the? but, but that's what I'm trying <laughs> to say is that, like, if you fuck a guy, that's not the same as him fucking a girl at all. It is the same. <laughs> <laughs> How's it the same? I, I'll tell you why. You make more, more money, huh? Yeah. That's yeah, why. There you go. She's yeah, winning yeah. charge. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Guys, yeah. let me tell y'all something, bro. If your girl ever cheats on you, you drop her. No offense to you. I know you're probably finessing this guy. But yeah, yeah. The, guys, Listen, if your girl cheats lit. on you. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> he not going do, nowhere. Do not ever take a girl back that fucking cheats on y'all, man. Don't do not do it. Don't and, do it. And, and the other thing, too, because she got to continue fucking other guys. But what if, what if they made a mistake? Not saying my situation, but like, what if like she cheated and she was hurt over something? She's dead. Oh wow! What if you, we, we have to She's forgive y'all for cheating. How? How? All I see it as because once you break a mirror, you can never stop seeing cracks. It's a good so point, you Ooh, trust, bro. The you moment you go with another it. nigga, it's over. It's, over. it's a wrap. I don't like, care. I, I don't think yo, women bro. understand, bro. Like, yo, that's every dead. guy's like biggest fear is like finding out like some dude fucked his girl. Like that shit's embarrassing. Yeah. You know, it's not the same as like if your girl, if your boyfriend fucks another girl. Like you could still laugh at that bitch, but like, ha ha. But he comes to me, bitch. Like it's not gonna be like if 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 I was to say, oh. Yo, uh, yo, I fucked your bitch. It's not like I'm gonna be, ha ha. She comes back to me, bro. No, I'm gonna look stupid. Yeah, yeah. she's come back to me. Do you think <laughs> that's, that's like same. what would bother you more about it? Like, what do you mean? Um, like the embarrassment versus like the betrayal. You think that's it's worse? Both. It's both. It's both. Yeah. Your woman is a representation it's an ego of you. For men. But I would say yeah, I the status, like for example, let's say like you got some boys in town and your girl goes to one of your boys. That right there is well, fucked that's up. terrible. Yeah. That. Mm. Yeah. Ho no homie hopping. Yeah. yeah. And this so. is why it's so important. And, and I don't mean to use you as an example, but this is for the guys out there to learn. Like, this is why it's so important. Like, you have to be the dominant figure in the relationship. You have to be the leader. You got to make more money than your girl. You got to be superior to your chick. So and that you can walk away. So that you can, number one, you can walk away. And then number two, she's going to have the fear of God <laughs> and cheating in you. Because she's like, damn, if I do anything stupid, or if he thinks I'm doing anything stupid, he's going to leave me. And the thing is, is that you have the leverage and, and, you know, this is what happens when girls have the leverage. And I don't mean to use this example, but mm -hmm. this is for the guys to learn out there. When women have the leverage, they will make your life a living hell. They'll embarrass you. They'll fuck other guys. They'll make you look like shit. And it's not the same when your girl runs around and smashes another dude, bro. It's going to make you look terrible versus like, if you run around and you fuck another girl, it's like that your girl can always say you dumb bitch. You come, comes home to me though. I'm the one with the title. For men, we don't get that benefit of being able to say, oh, she still comes home to me. Oh, yeah, cool. Have her. I just jizzed in her mouth, you dumb fuck. <laughs> like, you're going to look like an idiot yeah, as a man. 100%. So that's what I'm trying to say. When women say, oh, it's the same. It's not the same as all, at all, man. Like, a man that can have sex with a lot of girls is widely respected. A woman that has sex with a bunch of dudes is admonished. And if it's my girl and she's out here fucking other guys, can't accept that. Bro, I'll take it to another another level, bro. Go ahead. You don't have my girl, but if I, if I find out, bro, I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know what? No, I'm really really yeah. glad she's being honest about yeah, that yeah, because yeah. if your girl makes more money than you, or she could bully you around. It's gonna happen to you, bro. Yeah. It's gonna happen to you. So guys, be successful, bro. Be literally, I tell you all the time, don't make money so that you can like control your girl. No, you make money so that you can control options. your fucking life, bro. Yeah, options, man. So you can walk away from shit that that is like not serving you. Nice. So it is what it is. What about you? Um. If I get in a fight with him, I'm like stubborn. So even if I know I'm wrong, like 
<laughs> I have to walk away for a second and I have to really be like, fuck, I'm wrong, you know. Yeah. And then I'll be like, babe. I feel bad for you girls that make money, bro. Real talk. <laughs> no, but he actually makes more money than me. No, no, that's, he but, makes more money. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you hire earning women, y'all options are really this small. You guys do realize that, right? That's true. Like, yeah. the more money you make as a woman, the more opportunities go down. Exactly. But for the man, the more money he makes, the more opportunities go up. And the but I think that's just because we're looking for higher value people, right? Yeah. Like we need someone who's at least on our level. So yeah. of course the pool is yeah. Smaller. But here's yeah. the other end though: yeah. guys that would date you for the most part probably want to use you. Yeah. Which is scary because you don't know what you know. Generally okay. speaking, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to choose. Well, oh, it, if, if you're with a man position. that makes less money than you, yeah, the, yeah, yeah a lot of the time they're gonna be they're gonna try to finesse for a lot sure. of them. Oh, you, you're saying when they make less, not when they make more. Yeah, when they make less. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna try to finesse. But most girls have that. have common sense where they're like they'll date one or two bums that like finesses them, and they're like, oh no, this, this ain't it. <laughs> yeah. And then they go and say, okay, I'm only dating guys on my level at least bare minimum. And I always say it, bro, girls that are higher earners, six figures or more, your dating pool is really this small, bro. Which goes back to what I was saying before, like the more money you make as a chick. You're going to have to accept certain things that comes with a guy. You're going to fuck other bitches, bro. It is what it is. Yeah. That's what that's the price you pay yeah. for being a successful woman and wanting to date a successful man. No. I actually yeah. looked up. So I read up Oprah, Oprah Winfrey one time and she's not actually married. Yeah. Um, she's Never. with uh, what's his name again? Stedman. 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 But yeah. there is an article that actually said at the very end, it said that would mean I have to come home at night. So she chose that like. That, like she doesn't want she decided to buy she wants to do whatever she wants house. but she has the money too so i don't know that kind of just proves your point a little bit further yeah i, I mean I, what i've come to realize from interviewing a lot of women is um making a lot of money and being successful doesn't do it for them the same as like it does for a man you know like yeah. most women tend to you know value relationships you know family children maybe a husband whatever it may be that women we, we know this biologically they're more interested in people versus things men are interested in things women are interested in people that's why women you know pursue jobs like teachers nurses daycare dealing with people whereas like men you know stem science technology engineering and math yeah. so a lot of guys are socially retarded i'm sure you guys have met plenty of guys that, oh, i can't form a formulated <laughs> sentence Engineers. they'll be brilliant right they'll yeah. be intelligent but they don't even know how to talk to you or convey mm -hmm. anything right so men and women are very different and just so so what i've realized is that a lot of girls you know especially if you know if they're young and they're making money it's awesome but like as they get older and older money starts to be less of a priority and then family and relationships and everything else like that becomes more. So Yeah, that's yeah. where I'm at right now with my guy, too. I'm like, yo, like, I, you and me could have all the money in the world, but I'm, like, 26 now. So I'm like, I want to have a family. Sorry, you know, I want to get married. So, like, yeah. what really fucking matters? Like, you could buy a Lamborghini. You could buy this. But are you really happy, though, you know? Well, for men, yeah, because our clock isn't as short as your guys' <laughs> clock. <laughs> they can have kids. Yeah, but, it, but it is kind of a little bit because forever. if you think about it right, my guy's 20 years older than me. I'm 26. He's 46. Oh, okay. So for me, I'm like, yo, Smart. you know, your biological talk clock is a little bit ticking because at some points, like you're not going to have the energy to chase after bitches. You know what I'm saying? Your dick is not going to work the same. But does he want kids? Um, he, wait, I think we're talking about it. We're talking about having kids. So he, he could bust us to the day he dies. Sounds to me like, like he, he's living life. Yeah, I mean, he's he living life, but I think he knows with me too. It's like, we've been together for so long, like on and off now for nine years that it's to the point it's like, you know, do you want to just go fuck 18, 18 year old bitches, 19 year old bitches your whole life, or you want to be yes. with somebody yes. who's. Yes, the answer is yes. 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 Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay, well, shit. Give me the kid gonna, and sign a paper. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, right, I was going to say, it. he's going to continue to have sex with like younger. But like, actually, girls. I'm okay with that. Actually, I, we, me and him, we go to Columbia, buy him pussy. Like, what's up? Oh, oh shit. shit. You buy him pussy? pussy? Yeah, I buy him pussy. What's up? I don't care. Okay. Damn, nigga. Just put right. me up. Put make sure I'm number one and we good. Because okay. at the end of the day, your happiness cannot be reliant in a relationship. We have one life to live. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're super controlling and jealous and crazy, it's like, you know? Yeah, but uh, you were 26, so figure it out now. ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, I, I, I kudos to you for understanding yeah. that. I've, I've always said it that, you know... Uh, I'm different, though. Well, I, I don't know. Well, I, and that's true, because a lot of girls, I don't think they understand this. I always say it like, men, you, you're never going to sexually satisfy a guy by yourself. He's always going to want variety in different women. That's yeah. just how it is, bro. I'd like, rather accept it and like instead of living in a fantasy bubble, I'd rather accept it and be like, you know what? Cool. Just make sure I'm number one. Make sure I'm well taken care of and Damn. that's it. Facts. Okay. You I like that. You're a real good. one. Then you're going to be... The, you're hey, a real one, You bro. might get married then in that case, man. Yeah, shit. You know, and, and and you make too much money to not to try to find somebody else. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to just stick with what you got. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Cool. Mr. Jamaica, what about you? Uh, what do I want in a man? No, no, no. We covered that already. The question is, what do you do? Oh, I do makeup. Yeah, makeup. I'm a simp. I won't lie. I am like the softest. <laughs> like when it comes to someone that I'm 
like as a man, like I said before, when I'm with a female, you're going to treat me this vice versa. But when I'm with a man, I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to cook you food. I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to make everything shit's like sparkling clean because my auntie's favorite thing is. He's got to be a mask of the man to get this treatment probably, right? Yes. He's got to tell you to shut <laughs> yes. up when you say dumb yes. shit. Shut yes. up, bitch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. If you call me a bitch, I'm cutting your dick off. But, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> respectfully unless you're slapping me during sex then that you don't I'm call gonna me respectfully bitch. cut a dick off i didn't yeah. know how that can be done but okay <laughs> <laughs> but no other than that i will do everything i'm a caterer i like to cook i like to clean and i like to make everything's okay and pristine when you walk through the house like my auntie used to iron my sheets when she comes home and so that's the type of life i came from as a woman and so if you provide to me everything that I require as a man, then that's the standard I would hold for myself. Like, so I'm going to make sure if I, if you if I fuck up, I'm going to do some extra, extra shit that I'm on top of the stuff that the chores, quote unquote, that I already do. So I, I have a question because it seems to me like you're one of the, like these artsy, like self-acceptance. I accept all of you, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, women. But the reality is question. You're just a chick that wants to be dominated by a guy. In mm. a sense. If gotcha, they're bitch. the right guy, because there's yeah. so minimal guys that are even able to be called men. I've helped men change the oil in their car. I've Whoa. done. I, I've <laughs> changed a tire while a man stands by me, mm -hmm. and I'm fucking breaking nails, rotating that shit, pumping that shit up. Mm -hmm. So I've been more masculine than a lot of men that have been that have entered my life, and it's not just one or two. Or like when I was young or old, like it's a variety. Men in this area or where I, the well, guys have encountered i got something to say <laughs> so what if i told you they exist that, trust me i know no no they, they do exist but what i'm trying to say is that you, i agree with you that a lot of men are, are feminine right now and they act like chicks or whatever yeah. but what if i argued with you that your mindset and your tolerance of that type of behavior is a big reason why so many men are feminine in the first place because I, there's an mm. enormous amount of political pressure on men to be woke and you know liberal and yeah women and men are equal and yeah you, you go girl like no that's all a I bunch of stand that yeah, and the ahead. people that i even uh, affiliate myself with and i do have those deep conversations with i go to pride i have friends that are drag queens whatever mm -hmm. sexuality you can fucking name in the, yeah. under the sun but the people i tend to date are traditional are traditional yeah are traditional men they don't believe in that jamaican men they're just like yo Bati but you're not a traditional <laughs> but here's the thing though <laughs> I'm not a, a traditional you're, you're not but you're not and a traditional so that's woman why i tend to have a little weird dating history that's why i always say is, is it fair though for a traditional guy that's traditionally masculine to get a girl like you that's not traditional herself and though then he walks into a situation with me and then and you're not traditional at all at all and that's his so is that decision. fair what do you mean? How's is that, that fair for that guy to come in and I be a let traditional you man? I know this is what I am. This is what I'm doing. And if you want to fuck with me, then you can fuck with me. And if not, you can walk away. But let me explain to you from the male perspective why it's not fair. If I'm supposed to be traditional, right? And I come in and I'm protecting you, right? Mm -hmm. In times of chaos or I'm paying the bills or I'm being a leader, I'm being dominant or whatever. I would want a feminine woman. And mm -hmm. you're basically telling me like, well, I can't be feminine. I can't be masculine. But like you could kind of pick and choose when you want to be feminine. Exactly. And, but why But why is it that you can pick and choose when you want to be feminine, but the guy has to be masculine at all times? If someone he breaks in, he can't look at you and be like, you know what, babe? <laughs> I, I handled the last home invasion. You got this one. Like, and isn't I'll it? See how it's not fair for the guy? But I'll be strapped. And the thing is, I still have my masculine tendencies. When if he wants to be feminine in those moments, I got you, babe. I'm, yeah, but I'm you won't break up with him right up. after. Yep. You know, He's said, done. <laughs> He's done after that. that. No, that's not my requirement, though. Like, I want it to be the majority. Like, if you have your soft moments, then thank you for having your soft moments with me. And I'm the only one who gets to see them. Don't show everybody that you're a soft bitch. I want to be the big spoon in quiet. Really? You, you if the guy me. like lets you fight <laughs> off the, the 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 invaders, you would literally be okay yeah. with that? Yeah. And then I'm just like, but next time you got him. Next time you got him, babe. Next time you got him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, man. Because it, it lies all over the place here. Um. Yeah. That, that's one thousand percent, man. I'll get the hats myself. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, ladies, would you would you be okay with your guy like uh, saying, "Hey, babe, can you handle this one this time?" Would you yeah, go around the table? The no, hell that'd be no. a no, no. What's going wrong with you? Nope. What are you here for? What What about you, Miss Mormon? Would you be okay with him saying, "Hey, babe, uh, you got this one"? For what? Like an invasion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> are you strapped? Anxiety. Anxiety. Distractive. Anxiety. 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 Real good. Yeah. Most females are strapped lately. I won't yeah. lie. I've, I know so many females that are strapped that they're more trained. Yeah, than their but I'm strapped, but I'm not going ahead of my man in an invasion. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. What about first. you? Are you taking it on? <laughs> Honestly, and pull them titties down and slap them with it, or no, what? No, if I do that, they might die. Yeah, yeah. Don't like. That's yeah. manslaughter. But honestly, it just it just depends. I like it's. I, we're not even gonna have that conversation of who's doing what. It's either I'm gonna do it or you're gonna fucking do it. If you're not gonna do it, like I'm gonna it's I'm gonna make moment. that move. Okay. And I, I have a CCW, so a what? A CCW. Con- 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 carry. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Girl. What about you, Quantum? You, bo- you would you be okay with that? I mean, I am getting pretty good at headshots on twi- <laughs> on on Fortnite. Oh, oh, shout out oh, Twitch oh, gang. Oh, shout out oh, Twitch oh, gang. But no, actually no. I'm I'm joking. Okay. Um, all right, no, but I'm just, I just find no, it interesting you. that you want a traditional man, but you're like very non traditional yourself, which I, I mean, I, so I, that's I, my own fault because the thing is, that's where my issues lie. Yeah. You, the you support is, the basically, you support the industry, which is literally killing off the men that you like. I never want to say killing off the men because of, that's a huge debate that goes on. I don't on mean, I don't mean like people. literally like die. I mean, no, as in like, I, I mean, as in like, it's like masculine culture is dying and I yes. don't feed into it. But if you choose it on your own path, that's your choice. But I, I, it, I will say my opinion when it's brought up. Mm-hmm. It's like it's whatever you choose. And if I, like I said, when it comes to people that are coming across my path, I'll accept you as is. And that's my my argument is woke culture so. in general, right? Woke culture in general is is a big part of the reason why masculinity is dying. Is because oh no, it's huge. The, like you know, you get crazy feminists that come on and say, oh, like you know, toxic masculinity and a guy holding a door for me is sexist and you know all this other weird shit, clown world shit. And it's like, okay, that's cool. You can say There's that. So many lines. But yeah, There's it's so many lines that get blurry with those those toxic masculinity and mm-hmm. things like that. Because for sure, like yes, if it's possible to have like oh that in between, people have the quote unquote fluidity. Like it, bitch, you got it this time, or you got it this. Like bitch, if we're both carrying, you can get it this time. I got it last. Time. What I've come to That's find is I'm that saying. women want the guy to do it ninety nine percent. I hundred percent want him to do it, yeah. but if I have to, I'm not wrong with that. My father has always said that to me. That's the number one thing he said. Just because you don't like you need to know how to doesn't mean you have to yeah as a woman you should always know how to change a tire be able to change a light bulb fix your electrical do whatever the fuck that a man can do but you should never have to as a woman you should just never be stupid and be that dumb bimbo that can't do shit yeah like your man is ne- my, my mom's favorite thing to say the man doesn't marry his housewife like the the the, the clean the maid or the maid or the the cook like you need brains to be a fucking wife, wife material. Like, if you don't know how to do shit, why are you wasting his time? Why are you wasting time on him? Or vice versa, why is he wasting time on you? Like, when you're absolutely worthless and you're just a check, you're like, they're just pouring money into you. Like, when you have nothing to contribute, if it's not just love or, <clears throat> oh, I, yeah, you can suck my dick great and you'll be worth 10 grand, cool. But if you can't contribute to my life and make me grow, like I'm spiritual. So like, if I'm not doing shit that's going to help us all grow, then what are we going to do? All right. I was like, you, you, look like you got a Yu-Gi-Oh card. You want to send me to the nah, shadow realm? I was about to say, um, <laughs> use confusion. <laughs> you use just confusion. did. Uh-huh. Okay. But yeah. Um, fresh. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. So we have some chats here. We'll continue and then we'll do uh, uh, questions and last thoughts. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, Scott, Aragon goes, FNF fam, what an amazing, or we'll turn it to ladies if y'all have a question or a topic that y'all want to say, yeah. or, or for us, if you want to push back on us or something. Uh, okay, uh, 20 bucks, Alan Alik. I hope none of the women tonight, uh, no, hum, none of the women become night riders. If they are, there's going to be a huge increase of black male deaths by getting squashed to death during whale fishing. Stay safe, my black brother, this nigga, bro. They love it. They love, <laughs> they love it. Uh, Scott Aragon, FNF fam, what an amazing money Tuesday. I learned so much and very appreciative. Became a big fan of Investment Joy. Yeah, man, Shout check them out, him. guys. Uh, I learned a lot myself, bro. I'm about to buy some vending machines, man. Yo. Uh, Wayne, 25 bucks. If one of these girls makes a sandwich, they're going to eat it themselves. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Right. <laughs> big fat. Because uh, it's for me. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Just think of, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lay. The diabetes shit had me dead, bro. Yeah, that shit had me dead. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even have diabetes. Like, my grandma <laughs> has diabetes, but she's cool. She cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's she lives in the life. Yo. That's, okay. Uh, 5215. <laughs> what, what the 
fuck? <laughs> shout out to body positivity, yo. Uh, nah. <laughs> and shout out to my doctor who gave me this fat ass twenty thousand dollars on the ass. Thank you. Okay. 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 Listen. Oh, you, got a, you got a BBL? Yeah, I got two. Oh, two BBL. <gasps> oh, two BBL. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> shit. I would have enough. So, <laughs> who else here got a B? Did you get a BBL too? Yeah. You got a BBL? Okay. What about? Pending. Pending a BBL. Pending. Did you get a BBL? Never. I'm scared of him. No surgery. surgeries. Yeah, I'm scared of surgery. No BBL. No BBL. Okay. Uh, Zay215. <laughs> Can't watch full live up at 4 30 a.m. Thank you, uh, and Rolo for changing my life. Decided to stay in New Jersey. <laughs> One gram is just 215. Learn how to make up 2K weekly with Uber. Okay. Uh, JPF. <laughs> Here's the nation put towards replacing a broken chair that will happen at some point tonight. Man, y'all <laughs> niggas are it's ruthless. Going in. God damn. Robert P. Elliott. <laughs> Guys, I'm 39, make six figures, currently dating a 40-year-old divorcee, no kids, house foreclosed, and about to file for bankruptcy. Great chemistry with her and looking for LTR, no marriage. What do you think, Myron? What would you do? Wait, mm-hmm. what the fuck? What? Are no you job. Job. Leave her. You make currently dating. Oh, okay. She has a house foreclosed. Hell fuck, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you guys dating old ass <laughs> chicks, bro? Yo, if you're a guy and you're 39 years old, you're in your fucking peak. You should not be dating any girl close to your age. You mean dating girls in their fucking early to mid-20s, bro. Like, what are you doing? 40 years old, bro. What What the fuck? Like, stupid. Uh, any of y'all ladies have any thoughts on that? Dating a, a 39-year-old woman or 40-year-old woman that's divorced? Do what makes you happy. If she got, if she, if she 40, though, and her house is foreclosed on, you should reevaluate like, your situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked my friend's mom once and she was in her 40s. Wait, what? There's some hot-ass mom <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. No, sir, Wait. thing. What? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. You said you fucked your friend's mom? Yeah, man. Your, your boyfriend? Like you're a guy, a guy, for a female friend. Well, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course. That's, Wait. A, that's something to fall out of. Um, so uh, how how did that, that even happen? You came to uh, throw a store. Yeah. It was actually so she was actually dating a younger guy. He was like in his thirties. I was like eighteen. Um, he was like a like a drug dealer, and I really wanted to have sex with him, but she was dating him, and then he kind of was hitting on me, so it just kind of turned into this like clusterfuck. <laughs> Literally. Uh-huh. You, wait, you skip many things. What I skip? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little lost with that story. So, so let me get this straight. So there was a drug dealer. You wanted to have sex with him. Yeah, I really liked him. I thought uh-huh. it was like really cool at the time. You know, okay. he was 35. You're 18. He was like 35, and she was like in her late 40s. So he, she was much older than him already. So he was like in between, right? It's like me. But what is the relationship to the drug dealer and this woman? They're dating. Okay, they were seeing each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how did the mom like come a into two for one deal? You know, so, and, but, but you said that this woman is was your friend's mom. Yeah. Okay, so your friend's mom was dating. Was the drug dating dealer. the drug dealer? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So oh, so they both smashed you. Are you both the smashed mom them? and the drug dealer? Oh, together. Okay. So yeah. So at the same time. she wanted the drug yeah. the dealer. Yeah, yeah, but he but, had the girl. Yeah. So they okay. ended up they three somewhere. Her. But she was yeah. super hot. I believe. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> But, and, and then what happened? Let me guess. When your friend found out, she said, uh, "Fuck you or something." Yeah, it wasn't good. She what? texted me. I don't even know how she found out. I think he told her. <laughs> okay. Her what, what was her response to you? What was the text message? You whore. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just a big paragraph. Was she a Mormon too? She was not a Mormon. <laughs> she was not a Mormon. <laughs> After that, maybe. You, you fucked my mom. Like she's like, is that? What? <laughs> she's yeah, like, you yeah. fucked. <laughs> All right. Interesting. All right. uh, that was yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, we got um. Yeah, Andre the Giant Daughter on the panel. Oh shit! Lol. Uh, who, who green. You the green. <laughs> the, oh. Talking shit, man. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Andre the Giant. Uh, bro, we gotta stop making fun of these fat girls. They all clearly have a lot on their plate already. This uh, nigga, man. Uh, uh, By the way, Myron, these girls are the last chair benders. <laughs> Wow, I think it's fucking brutal. Yo. All right, Fiona, get back on this to the swamp. Who's Fiona? The, 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 Green Shrek, the Shrek's wife. Uh, the Shrek's wife. The Shrek's wife. <laughs> so stupid. I swear, these be the same motherfuckers that be on the street begging me, begging me for some pussy oh, and paying for that pussy. Yeah, so. facts. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, facts. 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 Chain line. <laughs> And, and Shrek, Fiona, she turned into a pretty oh, ass princess. Up, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> the Bro, these girs got roast beef down there and yeast infection. No, never, Maybe serve a beef and cheddar like Arby sandwiches. No, never. I don't even like Arby's. Arby's starts go to the gynecologist <laughs> Yo, more than anybody. The only yeah. person who eats Arby's is 80, bro. I don't know who else eats Arby's. Yeah, I don't know who eats Arby's that shit. Arby's is alive because they're owned by McDonald's. Are they? <laughs> oh, I didn't yes, know they that. Oh, interesting. 100%. I see why. That's the only reason they're still alive. Wow. Okay. okay. Learn something new every day. Yes. Uh, 
Steve, Brandon, Brandon, is it worth opening up an Arby's, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, give, give us your give us your thoughts on that. I have absolutely no clue. Probably um, should. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's pretend. Yeah, let's pretend. In other words, nah, don't open up an Arby's, guys. You ain't gonna make no money. Yeah. Uh, uh, Davey, open, so up, open up a Chick Fil A. Yeah, open up a Chick Fil A. Yeah, Chick Fil A. Go yeah. with Chick Fil A. Uh, hey, FNF, I could definitely use some feedback from my Instagram. And uh, oh no, I read that one before. Okay, much love from Uganda, boys. Girl next to Myron looks like Russell Wilson. <laughs> Question: What do you guys think is a good date idea? No, yeah, date idea with a girl I can do at my place that's not Netflix and chill. Have her cook for you. Yeah. 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 Cook or making panadas. You could do like um she nah. Uh mm-hmm. paint with a twist. Let me not say that. Yeah, I was really painting. I was gonna paint, say paint, yeah. with, paint with a twist. Cooking in some like, wine. Some yeah, games wine, at the house. Yeah. 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 It depends. If it's a first date, bro, I mean, yeah. is this a girl that you're this a first date or it's a girl if that you bring her into the house? If it's a first date, you, yeah, you shouldn't be at your house. house. Yeah, you should should be in Oh, you should. Well, well, I, mean, coming, I mean, maybe afterwards, but not like that's kind of creepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm coming over. Nice I'm honestly, bro, it's Fuck. better if you can set the stage outside and then yeah, come, it would come be, after. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, if right. you go straight to the house, man, I mean, shit, play some, play some games or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yu Yu Hakusho had to show respect to the best anime of all time. Okay, it wasn't have to do with anything. That's your okay. trash. <laughs> okay, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Doctor Amazing. Gonna have a lot more Lysol on them seats and mics when we leave. Uh, when they leave, they nasty. This nigga, bro. Uh, Simplify 204. Everyone on the panel, with the exception of Destiny, waits in the line at the club. What has the world come to where Cap or not, these types of chicks talk like this? Huh? I don't uh, wait outside the club. Buy the club. I never wait yeah. in line. That's like my <laughs> one rule. Like, I hate waiting never. in lines. Uh, question if, if y'all go to the club and uh, you got to wait in line, do you guys stay or do you guys say, fuck I'm that leave. shit? No, I leave. leave. I leave. It's unsafe. Absolutely. Okay. And if you're not getting free drinks, do you guys go? We pay oh, for no. the bottle, babe. We pay oh, for yeah. bottles. Oh, y'all actually, pay. wait, you guys Big pay for bottles? Over here, yeah. baby. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. I would much sometimes. rather pay for a bottle because it makes more sense rather than. Not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah, realistically, y'all, y'all might pay for the bottle once a year for a birthday or something. No. no. I, no. Actually, actually, I pay more often than you yeah. think. I so, wait, wait, wait. Out. So, if so, you're going out on a girl's night and you know who you're going with and you know, <laughs> well, I know my bitches have money. So, like, I'm not worried about, like, okay, she's going to give me $5. She's going to give me, like, 20 Okay. So, realistically speaking, how often do you go to the club and get bottles a year? Honestly, not that much. Like exactly. you said, like yeah. I would say like five. That's okay. The max. Okay. And a special occasions every time? Not even special occasions. Birthday. Just because, like, just because I, we want to. Like okay. celebration of life, so whatever. Like, not even just for birthdays. Like, oh, someone gets promoted. Rainbow's someone, out. Someone's doing that. Yeah, <laughs> pride, something. Yeah, okay. you're right. Celebration. What about you? Uh, how often do y'all go to the club and... Honestly, most realistically of the time, speaking, most a year. Most of the time we good. Most of the time people invite us out. Most of the time we're hosting. Most of the time it's something like we're with somebody that just wants us to be there, you know? Yeah. But sometimes it's to the point where we just don't want to deal with shit. You know, we're like, man, well, let's mm-hmm. get a bottle. Like, okay. Yeah, but how many times does that actually happen where shit. you don't want to deal with shit and you're paying for your own bottle? 10 to 20 times a year? Sure. We go out a lot. Okay. We yeah, we go out a lot. So yeah, we go on go vacations, on. too. We pay for all of our vacations. I don't everything. go out a lot. Okay. So, so 365 mm-hmm. and 10 days? Yeah, <laughs> 10 times a year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely do. Like, all of my homegirls that are, like, from back home that went to, like, school with me and stuff, every time it's their birthday, I always turn up for them when they come to Miami. Last time it was my homegirl's birthday. I think I blew, like, 15K just for her on, like, between the club, um, between the, like, I got her a nice-ass boat, between, like, all the sections. The Airbnb. Damn. Yeah. Airbnb, yeah, like, 15 But how many times do you do that a year? What? I got probably, like, Three to four, like homegirls that like are like ride or die that I'm always gonna look out for. But how many times do you do it? Per so year? like one, four, I would say four to five times a year. Okay, I think that's the biggest difference is that like with girls, it's like when they do actually spend money at the club and everything like that, and they're buying their own bottles and someone else is sponsoring it. Mm-hmm. It's just a few times a year versus guys do that shit all the time. Because guys have to show their money to like impress a lot of females when it comes to the clubs, just because of yeah. the type of females they're trying to attract. I mean, you could say that it's for it's a terrible part, strategy. Uh, we tell guys don't do that, clubs, but. Yeah. Bro, well, the, the, don't spend money at the club. The moment yes. I found no, out that it. promoters don't pay, promoters I'm don't with pay. the promoters, bro. Yeah, I'm <laughs> paying the money, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, That's what I'm say. Uh, let me tell y'all something, bro. Dead, bro. Like going to the club and spending money on bottles and shit like that it's is stupid, probably bro. one of the worst ways to get girls, man. One of the worst. Yeah. I don't know. I think I've definitely like once in my lifetime or twice, maybe three times. Oh, I've definitely fucked late. someone because I'm like, okay, they take they're looking at yeah, me, give us a pussy. Yeah, I could. You will. Yeah, and I can never. You know what? And she only it. did it three times. I was how many, okay, yeah, let's, let's do it. How many times have you been at a table versus smashing okay. a guy that was at the table? Yeah. Probably been at the table hundreds of times. Only mm-hmm. smashed a dude from the table three times. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, you know, once in a while, it's, it's a it's a night. Like, listen, it's like, damn, he paid. Look out for my homegirls. I'm going to just give him supposed to get over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
it's still, a, it's still a low chance, is what I'm trying to say. But honestly, the, the less, like, less... like spending 10, 20 k, and then like maybe she'll throw some pussy. Like it's like nah, man, like that's just a low. But honestly, the guys with the big bag, the guys that really got the bag, usually mm-hmm. they know the club owners and the bottles are comp. Yeah. Yep. They don't pay. They don't. They get ones. That's it. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That that's where you guys want to be. You don't want to be in there fucking spending a bunch of money on in the club like <laughs> no, a hell no. Spend the money that in the shit mall. Adds up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. What about you? Do I buy bottles? The bottles, yeah. I don't really drink like that. I'm homebody. I'll I buy weed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you? I'm definitely much more of a smoker than I am a drinker. My preference is champagne if I am in the club. Are you champagne. paying for it though? Fancy. It Hell doesn't no. matter. Like I, I don't mind paying if for you anything. Want it, you get it. Yeah. Like if I want Stop it, it's mine. Cow. I, I don't know. I, I'll tell you this. I've always said it. Like when girls are paying for their own drinks at the club, yeah, the end is near. Yeah, tr- yeah trust <laughs> me. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I know girls that like make it a game. Like all right, I'm gonna go out with no money. Let me see how many sections I can get in. How much free I, no. liquor I can drink. Bro, yeah, not pay for shit. I, I feel like girls with, with money though. If they got friends that are around, they want to have a good time. They want to own, own space. No, they want yeah, to yeah. niggas. They want to pay for section. But that's rare. But that's, it's rare. It's it happens like maybe once. Seven, and I don't blame them. Like it's or stupid. It's like like yo, spending money at the club is dumb. Right? Like it's fucking yeah. dumb. Like girls are smart enough to know like why the fuck I'm not gonna. I'll do this a couple <laughs> times a year, but guys don't get it. like oh, let me just trick off or whatever. Because like the girls that you do attract, they're gonna just try to drink your liquor for free. And shit. Like, yeah. I worked yeah. bottle service for a really long time, and to the point where our company started doing credit repair because they saw how much these niggas were paying so much they were destroying their shit. <laughs> They put so many niggas in the debt. They said, "Yo, we should do a credit repair." Yo, that's crazy. Girls, as bottle girls, I swear to you, this is a real thing. <laughs> that's that's, that's wild. Wow. They were just like, "You know what? These little motherfuckers are broke and going into debt." start a credit repair business wow so get pussy and man the same girls started the same credit repair business bottle service but if you go too far they cut credit repair wow, wow. wow. that's smart though that's, that's actually pretty fuck, and they they've been thriving because of it thriving. that's not bad sure. at all i like that <laughs> okay all right destiny do you buy bottles or no hell no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, hell so no. i i've been in service industry a long time bottle service etc so i know a ton of promoters and know my girls and i don't pay to go i think i've done it once we just didn't want any incentive to, to like for a man to feel like yeah you know he's gonna get some from one of us we're just having a girls night but that was one time that i can remember so guys top secret here if you want to go to clubs without paying be sections be cool with a promoter. That's the best way to yeah, get in facts. as a guy because if bro, facts fresh man. I'll, I'll be in there every every fucking week, man. Yeah, 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 but guys, just, just so they know though, you, you gotta, gotta add value. value. Yeah, like, yeah, you can't just be yeah, like some random nigga yeah, like, oh yeah. yo, I want to sit at the table. Yeah. Like you gotta be a fucking add somebody. Value, you, gotta ask, you gotta you gotta be something. a celebrity. You gotta be in, in social media or you gotta be adding value somewhere. You gotta add value. You're a lawyer. Maybe you might fucking consult with with them for free or some shit. Help them with their criminal cases. I don't fucking know, but you need to add value as a guy, bro. Unfortunately, you cannot use. Even if you're the most handsome dude, you can't use your looks to your advantage to finesse shit, bro. It just yeah. doesn't. It's not the way the world works. Yes, facts. Like it is what it is, man. Like, yeah. Is that Nicholas, uh, if I paid y'all 10k for advertising purposes, would you be interested in having me on the pod in the next few months? I own a quickly growing company in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. C A I Fabrication. Uh, it might be a little bit more, but hit us up on the side. Uh, hit me on Unplug Fit on Instagram or Fresh at Fresh Prince CEO. Uh, D- Dimitri Roulette, uh, 20 bucks. Message deleted. Probably made fun of Chris's hairline. Uh, Spider 101. Y'all better chill on Rikishi. Remember, he has one of, he's the one that ran Stone Cold over with a car. <laughs> it was me. Uh... <laughs> oh Give me a hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, uh, Rich. So, uh, uh, where are we at? We write. That's just my article. Okay. 50 bucks. Homie clicks. These whales want a successful on his grind type man. No mama. Y'all need a diet plan. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. I thought y'all skipped one. Yeah, yeah you guys, you guys want to, you want to say something back to him? Y- y'all skipped one. Where did we what? skip? The one that's uh, like uh, go down a little. No, no, we we if you skipped it, it's, it's for a reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. they, they exactly. donate enough. Damn, we asked for my Instagram. We paid twenty dollars. Vicky X like X well. What is it? Vicky X like X well oh, okay, with yeah, four yeah. H's. Uh, love the podcast. All ladies up there are beautiful. Okay, Thank and that's from Zach eighty nine. Oh, that was. Good. And now we're good to go. Send Thank a dick pic to all their Instagrams, guys. I really want to oh know, God. like, like <laughs> I do real ratings. shit though. What's up with like this, like, uh, body, bo- like shit? Like this shit is so funny to me. It's like because at the end of the day, who gives a shit? Like I'm not. I don't even want to look at you. So who are you to tell me how I look? And I'm sure at the end of the day, shit. Well, exactly. Like, the come same on. thing that they've always said from the start of this conversation. Yeah, like I'm paying who, no and I got a successful man that makes a lot more money than you, bitch. Yeah, talk shit about you. <laughs> okay. 
they're still going to be coming up in your DMs. Period. And they're the ones that pay me. Okay. And my Talk only shit fans. and then subscribe. Like, You're so beautiful. All right. We have uh, a few more. <laughs> Yo, shout me out, please. That's from Bishop Turner. Okay. Panda looking like the new era of Teletubbies. OG Cosby. Yeah, that's from OG Cosby. And then he goes, I went for my own reveal. This was a surprise interview for a bodyguard position. This nigga. And then we got Abdul25. How many of the ladies speak Greek, Victoria, when you're trying to eat? When? What? Anyone here Where? speak Greek? No. no, I oh. speak Hebrew, Arabic, uh, Portuguese. Yeah. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Where's your family from? Uh, my family's from Israel, and then uh, my grandparents are from Morocco. Yes. Okay. All right. Hey, so, uh, are are you Jewish or are you Muslim? Yeah, I'm Jewish. Okay. Mm -hmm. The enemy. Okay. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never. Uh, peace, love, and peace. Uh, uh, Anthony, uh, where are we at? Anthony Baker, shout out to Lizzo for making on the show tonight. <laughs> Yeah, niggas, bro. Like, and Lizzo pay. Lizzo that pay. My titties uh, are like 20 bucks really a venom. Deep. Just got in. What's going on? Did most source these girls? What's going on, Chris? <laughs> the fuck? And then uh, Chris Serbo, 20 bucks. The one with the colorful hair when she did spiritual, it was a red flag. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say back to him? I, me being spiritual, I live a very, very blessed life. So I don't give a fuck about anyone's opinion. Okay. So whatever you feel about it, that's on you. All right. So, ladies, so we'll turn to the ladies we'll here. Do last thoughts, comments, questions. And yep. we'll start right here. Yep. Um, or disagreements or whatever maybe no actually i thought today was a good discussion i always love coming <laughs> onto the show and ladies if you want to come on the show send me a dm and i will bring you no flakes no flakes thank no. you thank you shout out to you happy titty tuesday y'all hey. <laughs> hey. today, today's tuesday shout out to rikishi yeah. Oh, ramen noodles. Yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> Yo, the chat was ruthless today. Uh, Y'all were funny. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's okay, guys. Uh, Y'all yeah. saw what they did with me, man. They're over yeah. here saying I got a kid and shit. So it happens. It's the yeah. internet. They, they I, I warned them too before. The, before that, they're <laughs> yeah. gonna talk shit. We did. And, uh, I look at my bank account. Okay. Okay. So it's fine. Yeah, yeah. you black as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of people got off queen. tonight, though. They was queen. They got what? Got off. Yeah, they were definitely. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> um, I give out a free sex tape for everybody that joins. Wait, free? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, Ooh, please, uh, do you, you have a last hat on when you do it? <laughs> oh, I can not just go okay. support the people. Not in that one. All right, all right. If you guys want to see her get plowed by a Jamaican guy, check it out. Oh, Oxtail. <laughs> 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 the national okay. sound of Jamaica. Yo. All right. What about you? Yes, guys, subscribe to my Instagram. Oh, oh and OnlyFans. Sorry, OnlyFans. Show me some love. And you want to stand up and show them what what they'll see on there. Okay, Becky, yeah. stand up. With oh, me. she's like, you stand up too. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one, Kirk. So we can turn around. Are we allowed to do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You good? Are Go ahead. Yes, BBW, the BBL crew. <laughs> okay. okay. Call it. God damn. Well. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And, All right. Um, one more thing. I just want to say that yeah, I ahead. love my military men. Okay. <laughs> just, I don't know about dating. Just fucking. <laughs> All right. You said what? Just oh, just fucking. Nothing just else. Fucking. They, they like dating. butt stuff, you know. They right. love their they, ass. Oh, yes. shit. I For fucking sure. very good. throttled my middle finger up my last military. Really? I was just like, uh, uh, what? Wait, wait, wow. Wow. Maybe I need to rethink. Maybe I need to <laughs> okay. yeah. I wasn't ready for that information. That was doing um, real quick. Uh, All right. right. It was fun. Um, subscribe to my OF Queen Sophia XX. Um, uh, formerly Sophie Dream. Okay, and uh, I like my fat ass. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, I, I forgot who mentioned you on the podcast. Oh, who, who was it again? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I thought I was clean. I thought I made it clean out of this shit. <laughs> who, who mentioned you again on, on the podcast? Academics. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and I got you receipts, academics. So come on. Let's, let's get back so on here. I got receipts today. for you, baby. You paid. Wait, okay. wait, wait, what? He paid? Ooh. Well, he, he, he likes little cat fit. This is, he's a, he, bring him on. Wait, no, no. I got to know. Did my nigga pay? This is, I'll tell you the full story. It's a full story. There's a full story about it. I need to know because I don't believe it. If he, if okay, let me, tell you, let me tell you what happened. I'll make it quick. Okay. DJ Academics messages girls on Instagram. This was a long time ago. Like, I had just moved to Miami. My, my man, you know, I said, I was like, let me be a hoe. Was this so, nine years ago? This was about, no, we've been on and off. Like, oh, okay. we go on and off a lot. Okay. You're but, on the whole phase at this point. I was at a whole phase okay. at this point. Um, so... Basically, when I first started my little hoe phase or whatever, I got a DM from academics and he was like, oh, I'm gonna fly you out to New York, blah, blah, blah. 
you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, make sure you good. I'm gonna put you in a hotel. I'm gonna get you a bottle, whatever you want. Da, da, da. Okay. So I'm like, okay, cool. Cause I was excited. Like at the time, whatever, cool. And then, um, I get to New York or whatever it is not academics. It says ugly ass, weird ass guy named AJ. <laughs> So basically, AJ? academics helps his homies get pussy by DMing girls, wow. saying that it's him, but really it's his ugly ass, broke ass friend named AJ. But he's still paid though. And um, okay. basically, we got to the hotel. We, he, Wait, he paid you to smash? Of course. Yeah, he paid me to smash. And and they talk about oh, it was a chargeback on PayPal? No, mm -mm, no, I got the receipt. And um, two, how much did he pay? Um, three uh, bands. Uh, it was good. I'm gonna say it was good. Over over five. Uh, it was good. Okay. And uh, on some real shit though, like I just felt some type of way on that podcast, and all my all my friends were like, "Yo, you need to come up here and defend your situation," because mm. you know, at the end of the day, it's like it's kind of fucked up too. Like a lot of these celebrities like try to like uh, help their homies get pussy by like ca like doing that type of shit, and it's it's weird. What's and, wrong with that though? He's helping the homies out. No, man. because it's like just be a man. DM me yourself. Shit. No, they like, do, they do stuff like that. Yeah, and it was weird to me, but honestly, and and He's the funny the thing is, the funny thing is. <laughs> I ignored him and um and everything and he didn't even really he didn't get no pussy. I he gave me a bottle of 42, gave me the money, and I stayed in the in the room with my friends and he was mad. That's what happened. And that's on everything. And I got wait, receipts. wait, wait. I'm confused. Wait, wait, wait. So so you did well he had he gave me the money with the intention of getting pussy, but like, he didn't so get no, no pussy. pussy with the yeah. friend, the friend, the friend, not academics. Okay, the so friend. so he said meet me, and then his friend showed up. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh the friend paid you because mm. he was gonna smash. Right. And then you didn't smash him. No, because I was mad. I was like, yo, this is like a whole weird setup thing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, who's helping him? Right. Man, what's wrong with Got that? Got paid, didn't you? Yeah, but no, it was, it was also false saying cat pay. But still, I also feel like false you wasted you, you my got time. A BBL. He brought in another guy. What's the difference? But I also feel like you wasted <laughs> my time. <laughs> Somebody I'll take, else, I'll so. take the money because you wasted my time. So, wait, 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 wait. So, you took the money and then smash him? No, I didn't smash. I just took the money. So, so, <laughs> so, you're telling me you got paid and you didn't smash? No. Damn. Mm -hmm. Respectfully. That's a finesse there. Yeah. Well, yeah. he finessed me, so. No, that's but. A finesse for finesse. Yeah. Yeah. You took the money, though. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I, but, I think it's fair. You had a BBL. He brought his other friend. I mean, that's, that's just fair. Right? Yeah, but shit, if you got the money, right? You want to pay for some pussy shit? You you be the one to DM me then. Yeah, but what's the difference though? You can still get dick, bro. I still don't know why why niggas pay for pussy, bro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's beyond me. But well, honestly, it's for the convenience. Dick. It's for the convenience too. Like, uh, and also a lot of guys have girlfriends and shit, and they don't want to like yeah. like most of the guys that trick off. They got a wife, they got a girlfriend, and they just want some pussy real quick, and they don't want you know nothing to be said. Da da da. Here, take this money. Da da da. You know, that's usually how it goes. I will say this academic's a real one for that, helping out his homie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Not really, because his homie, you know, <laughs> he failed. And he was in my DM for a long time, too. The, because the he homie? paid. The homie? Yeah, he was just like, he was on some shit. He was on some shit. Like, you don't even need to give me some pussy. I just want to hang out with At you. At that point, he's a bill collector. He's like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah, he's like, come on, man. I need like, 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 money man. invested in in, 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 in stock. <laughs> Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate the payment. Thank you very much. Oh man, man, you got finesse, man. Man, God damn. Well. Shout out to academics for Shout trying to, to set it up. Any demics. And uh, any and he, your friend failed, uh, man. I mean, it is what it is. And so. he was cool and look good looking. Okay, cool. But he was like weird and like awkward. And Wait, just, so how was he weird though? Like, mm. he, like I had a room full of bad bitches, and he came in there like, like all scared and weird. He wouldn't speak up. What he wouldn't the talk. Fuck? He's socially <laughs> like he was socially awkward yeah. and weird. Wait, you came down with all your homies. Like you came down with a bunch of girls? <laughs> yeah, actually. I thought yeah. you were gonna try to try to run a train on him or some yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't no, know. I mean, he comes no, into no. a hotel room, a bunch of chicks, and they're like, "Wait, what's up?" It's cool. got scared. <laughs> it was actually a coincidence because like my girls had a room, then they were shooting a photo shoot in the same hotel, so it was just oh. like two things in one kind of thing. Yeah. Oh no. Wait. So so you picked the hotel? Yeah. But you said it was weird to set up. The, okay, the hotel was booked. With when academics was messaging me, oh, well, academics was like, I got your flight, I got your hotel. Uh -huh. Which hotel do you want to stay at? Whatever, I told uh -huh. him I want to stay at this hotel. That was da, easy, da, da, da. and all this stuff. So it was all set up. But when I landed in New York, it was a different guy. It was not academics. Okay. Like, <laughs> I just so like, what hold the on, fuck is this? hold on. But you wanted to smash academics. I mean, at the time, I thought it was like okay. That's a yes. Like yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Shit, I was I was new to the whole game. You know okay. what I'm saying? I've stepped up a lot since then. Let me tell you. Wait, so would you would you smash him now? Huh? Would you smash academics? No, now I'm like in a new phase of my life. <laughs> oh no more. Academics is lit right now, but no, I don't care. I'm not on that type of time. I got money now. I'm good. 
Yeah. So, oh, oh shit, that's okay. the requirement. So, yeah. Okay. And, I, and I'm working on my weird. relationship. <laughs> Right, you're trying to be a better person. Okay. Sorry, so I'm buying pussy now. Up for him. I'm uh, buying pussy now. Uh, oh, okay. did, did he know what you were doing prior? Um, yeah, my ex is a hoe too. Shit. Well, my man ex, whatever you want to call him, he might he a hoe too. I mean, I I would argue that he's actually the hoe maker. But, but okay. <laughs> no, he a hoe too. He started the whole shit. No, no, he, no. he's a hoe maker. Yeah. Men cannot be hoes. Oh yeah, makers. no, he is a hoe maker. Yes, yes. Because yes. listen, yes. I was a good ass wifey. I was monogamous to him. I was doing Stop everything. No, so wait, real he's the shit. one that told you to go fuck random guys for money? No, he started, um, he started like I was monogamous to him. We were living together and everything. And then he started like cheating on me and all this stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Like I was hurt, you know. So I gotta be on the move to Miami. And, yeah. Rest of was history. Yeah. Oh, so this this guy doesn't even live here. No, he lives in Vegas. Oh, oh, oh. It, it all makes so sense. he cheated on you. He said, You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get back at him by fucking more people. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. But now we came up to like an understanding where it was like, Okay, we, you know, you can fuck who you want to fuck. I want to fuck who I want to fuck. We but adults. like, I mean, we, it works. Do you think he's gonna wife you up? Is he gonna uh, give you a ring? Yeah, I think so. No, he's not. If he if he doesn't shit, I'm paid. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. At least, at least she's prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. If it doesn't happen. Facts. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I estimate I, I don't think he will give the ring personally. Yeah. Okay. And so. if he does, I'll come on the show and show everybody. There you go. If he does, yeah. yeah I think yeah. you guys yeah. should make a, a a barter, like a bet. Yeah, let's make a barter. I mean, we try, but right so word. far we... Let's do a 50K barter. Oh, 50K? You, you guys should do a bet. Yeah, I, was to say, I, I don't got a beard, but I started. If you want to bet? Go ahead. Like, no, but honestly, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure out who he is first. Before. I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna get the ring. <laughs> Your information. On some real shit. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, I feel like it was hard for him. Like when I came out here, you know, I was like hoeing and shit. He was like, you know, I, I don't want to wipe no hoe for real. But I now mean, that I'm like, I took my hoe money, I took my OF money, and I'm doing a business. You know what I'm saying? And I'm taking my life serious. He's like, oh, I can wipe. He's this like, man. damn, like this. <laughs> she is a good girl at heart. I'm the one who made her this way. Da 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 da. And he a hoe too. Like I told you, he buys. Is that what he told shit. you? He yeah, told you that yeah, he, he blamed me. himself that you you did that. I mean, he he just <laughs> said we both hoes. We both hoes. Okay. Uh, whatever makes the boat flow, rings. whatever yeah. makes the boat, yeah. niggas will do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, niggas will be niggas. Sell the dream, yeah. Yeah. You will be free, free, my friend. Yeah. Sell the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, he knows okay. that shit. What about you? Thoughts on the show? Yo. Wait, what do you mean? Thoughts on the show? Final yeah. thoughts. You hate us. You love us. Did you yeah. enjoy the show? Oh, no, Did you learn anything? Is uh, fuck out niggas. Yeah, whatever. Oh no, I love to talk shit. So my favorite thing is we couldn't tell honest shit talking. Okay. And if you couldn't tell, invite me to the next one. I'll see you. Okay. And we'll see what, how much shit we can actually talk. Because I get deep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and whatever subject you want, I have no filter. So if this wasn't enough, talk to me next time. Okay. Yeah, I, lo- I, mean. I, lo- I loved it here. I like open discussions because a lot mm-hmm. of people can't handle it. I'm tired of sensitivity. The what, quote unquote, what is it called? Snowflake culture. Well, those are your people. They're yeah. going to get it. They're the ones that and, can't. Sometimes. And I love the people that say that to me, saying that those are my people. I'm not saying that you're one of them. I'm just saying the people that you. I know, but I'm just appreciate. saying. You are one of those people that lump me into that culture. Yes, I do have a lot of beliefs in that side. But. I am not the one that's going to be touchy about it. Talk to me how okay. offensive or crazy the conversation may be. I'm not the one that's going to get mad. I'm not going to storm out and be like, fuck you guys. How dare you? Okay. No. So you're woke, but you got your eyes open. Oh, wide open. Tell okay. me what's wrong. Tell me why. And give me an example. Give me some studies. Give me some scientists that prove I will it. say this. For someone that's woke, you did uh, like honestly take some you know criticisms I had fairly good. So I, I give you respect oh, yeah, on that. because. No. Because I was like saying, like, you know, you want a masculine man, but, you know, the, the culture you kind of support. Shout out to Para Jungle. Shot off, but that's fine. Hey. When masculine men are thriving and out here truly being themselves, I will be happy to be a submissive wife to them. Me but too. Okay. Until then, I will be the man where you lack. Fantastic. Okay. Well, you know what? He's just going to wear heels until you become feminine. That <laughs> oh makes sense. God, damn right. That I'm makes perfect that sense, ass. right? <laughs> Yes. yes, I just Quantum have one more thing. Ass. I just have one more thing. If you guys could go and follow my Twitch, it's Manifest Dust underscore. I would. What, what games you, you play? Uh, right now, I'm playing Fortnite and Elden Ring. I am soon downloading GTA Five. I'm super okay. excited. Cool. cool. Uh, Greek as in choo choo shoot. Who's all into that? What? Th- that means who likes anal? Oh, <gasps> me. What? The pussy. All right, who so likes anal that? here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fun. Don't touch yes. me. Yes. No. What? No. You don't. Okay. <laughs> Eat ass, but no dick in ass. Fantastic. Oh, you don't need it? Okay. You're missing out, babe. What about you? You like anal? 
don't like people touching my butt. Okay. What? I like but tongues in my ass. Fresh, are you you like <laughs> doing anal to girls? Of course of not. Course. Yeah. Bus yeah. No. Oh my god. Hell no. Oh my god. Uh, uh, if you got a pussy boy. right in front of you, why are you gonna touch the booty? I will say uh, the meat meal method is pretty pretty solid though. Uh, yeah. Right. Wait, uh, okay, so Maxwell goes, everybody <laughs> shoots DMs. You're not special. You're just another one, LMAO. That's another week. No, we put the homies on to thoughts and act going call fresh right now. Uh, <laughs> I, I will say this, ladies, like like a lot of girls like, oh, this guy DM me. Ladies, guys send DMs out to like everybody. hundreds everybody. of girls yeah, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah. Sorry to say, don't feel special. All right. Okay. Um, People paying to smash Shrek is crazy. Lizzo and Big Mo need to hook up RIP to that bed frame. Do you have anything you want to say back to him? Trying to talk shit? Uh, I don't even. I don't even give it. I mean, shit. Suck a dick or something? Yeah. Bye. Okay. <laughs> if your crew was built like you, then bro thought he was going to get swallowed literally. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm confused. I'm All right, Myron, you got one hundred to one odds on that fifty k bet. Do it. I got half. <laughs> oh, shit. Crip. Well, I need to. I need to look and see. You who give it is. me the ring just because that, just so I can get fifty k. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. See, that's that's, that's thing too. As you split it. Yeah. I need. I need to see who this individual is before I before All right. I bet that because who mm-hmm. knows, man? He might be a simp. So, uh, no offense to your, to your guy, uh, but um, okay. All right, we got a, uh, a guest tomorrow or no? No, right? No. Yeah. No, we got a regular show, a dating show. Yep. Tomorrow, Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we need to, what to, what to, what's the topic? I got a fire topic. You got fire topic? I'm going to tell you after though. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Guys, tomorrow's Womanizer Wednesday. We'll be on there at mm-hmm. 6 p.m. And then also, guys, we're going to have uh, a nighttime show. We're going to try to go earlier, guys. It's just yep. that this week we had a... Uh, an impromptu show, you know what I'm saying? With between Steve will do, and then we had Brandon now. Shout out to them. Yo, go check them out, guys. Yo, watch the interview that we did with uh, um, so many gems. Investment joy, investment joy. Sorry, um, it was is awesome. AKA Brandon, it was it was great. Yeah. Uh, we talked about making money with vending machines, with uh, laundromats, fucking storage uh, storage units, units, buying real estate property in Ohio, single family homes, single family homes, everything real estate, man. Uh, rest starting restaurant chains. Yeah, how Subway was out here. Opening places all over the place. Laundry with, mats. Laundry mats, everything. all that stuff, man. Well, car washes. So, guys, check it out. If you're a drug money launderer and you, and you need to find a way to launder your money, oh watch that episode, God. okay? Or <laughs> if you got a little bit of money, you want to start a vending machine business, you probably can too. Yeah, real talk. That's a, oh, You don't need much capital something. to get in it. Because I'll tell you how this. When, when I was doing uh, investigations, man, laundry mats and car washes were fantastic ways to launder money. So, if y'all want to sell, you know, hide your money somewhere, go get that stuff. All right, you folks. didn't hear from me. Uh, uh, Brandon, do you have anything us. for the people? Huh? Right, you want to say anything to the people? I wasn't sure. I saw the mic. No, not really. No. no? Okay. Eric's. <laughs> All right, guys. Go check them out, guys. And then all the ladies' Instagrams are below, guys. Go ahead and send your dick pics. I know some of y'all are going to be sliding in their DMs anyway. I know some of y'all. Uh, so, all right, guys. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. DMs on the man. DMs on the man. Get, Get it, course, guys. I accept, I accept pussy pics. Thanks. Peace. All the night. It's my world.